All right, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. It's been two days, chat, but I've been busy. <laughs> Are you deaf, Jim, or is Dart not talking? D Jim, you've been here long enough to know that I usually leave like the first few minutes of the stream to like y'all emotionally prepare. Go get something to drink. Use the restroom. All those kind of things you got to do. One day you'll figure this out. You'll remember this little detail. <coughs> Uh, but yeah, good to be back streaming some more FF7. Been looking forward to it. I've been also recording a bunch of lines today because I got that Silent Hill video I'm working on. But other than that, my time is now free for you, Chad. Both of you. Uh, the voice is a little tired though, but I'll manage. I will manage. Hey, Father Dart, enjoy your break. Uh, like I was originally only planning to take one day off, but... I needed another day because I had my Silent Hill script to finish up. But thankfully, got that done. But uh, I think this is one of the longest chapters in the game. Could easily take the entire stream. Uh, if I get involved in a lot of mini games, probably. But I I, I probably won't even like reach uh, Gold Saucer until like the halfway point of the stream. Because we're still technically in Coral. We're right outside it. Did you hear about Toriyama passing? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't know why I giggled at that. I am terrible. Um, but no, I heard about it. Uh, I think he's like 68 or 69. Far too soon. First the Berserk guy, Mira, and now Toriyama. I, I gotta say, I'm getting a bit worried over like the Hunter x Hunter guy. Because <laughs> his health has been terrible for years and years now. So I'm wondering how much longer he's got. Because he's got unfinished work. I hate to think of it in that way, like he's got unfinished work. Finish it before you die. But that's really all I know about him to begin with. But sad that Toriyama passed. Hey, what kind of, I mean, no one else has that kind of legacy beside the asteroid. What was it? The Astro, Astro Boy? Mangeka? Manga, manga guy from like the 60s and stuff? Like he, he has, his, he's like a celebrated figure. I think Toriyama is like the same category. Like, there are a few mangaka that can, like, reach that height. Uh, oh, yeah, it's Dardigan time. I like the... Uh, all right, I, I want to, like, see someone make to, put together, like, a, a wall clock that has my name on it in lieu of, like, one of the numbers. Just so we can make Dardigan time a visual. My second favorite... Wait, second favorite? Hmm, you know what? I'll accept it. Like, there's a lot of people who could take, you know, the first spot. You beat Rebirth two days ago, then you don't have to worry about spoilers. How many hours did it take you to get through it, by the way? As a writer artist, my biggest fear is dying before my work is finished. Uh, that's one of the reasons maybe people shouldn't start decades-long projects. Especially later in their life. Looking at you, George R. R. Martin. Looking at you. Because <laughs> I, I don't think he's going to like finish that series. He's old and obese. Not exactly too good, y'all. Uh, divining informations or pieces of divining. I can't talk. Not a good combo for reaching you know the later stages of one's lifespan. But hey, maybe he'll at least finish one more book. Welcome back, Squall. Squall. Come on, I'm at least a Zidane, right? I'm not antisocial like those, like Squall. I hit on women. <laughs> Consensually. I don't have a tell yet. <laughs> Toriyama's art style will remain iconic. Uh, it is very recognizable. You see anything, he's even like one little caricature, you know, oh yeah, it's Toriyama. Or at the very least, someone mimicking his style. And also, it's not, it's not just manga and anime, but he had a pretty big presence in video games. Chrono Trigger is like considered one of the like if not the best RPG by a lot of people, near best RPG. And then like the entire Dragon Quest line of games. And I think he's got an upcoming one called Sandland. So, dude's left a mark. Also, Polygarp, thank you for the 17 months, my man. His Chrono Trigger designs are so good. They were really good. The character designs in it, they're kind of like timeless. Even if the main character Chrono just looks like a redhead Goku, <laughs> if we're being completely honest. He really is just like, yeah, he's a redhead Goku. 
<laughs> Blue Dragon. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. That, but again, I never got to play that one since it was X. Well, I could have played it. I mean, I did have an Xbox 360, but I for some reason just never did. I heard it was all right though, but it was like that was like Microsoft's big play at making a break in Japan. That was supposed to be their Dragon Quest, and they had that other game that was supposed to be their Final Fantasy. What they really should have released is a bunch of gacha games. That's how you really break into the Japanese market. Dragon Quest, super influential in Japan. Yeah, Dragon Quest is actually a much bigger deal than Final Fantasy. And even Persona, I would say, in Japan. Like, people, like, when a new Dragon Quest game is coming out, it's like, people, like... Let's just say most jobs know to expect a lot of people won't be coming in that day. <laughs> and they even prepare for it. Uh, I like how you tied that. We wouldn't have like a Dragon RPG series with that. Blue Dragon was pretty good. Had an anime too. Yeah, I never got a chance to play it. Uh, but you know, it always looked alright. It didn't really look like my style. So if you get the deluxe edition of Alone in the Dark, you get an old school character like back when that's cool, like low poly and everything. I think that game comes out relatively soon, doesn't it? Actually, isn't there like a bunch of games coming out? We got like Dragon's Dogma 2 and that. Amongst other things. I still never even get to play Pacific Drive Chat. Still got to play that at some point. Also, uh, this happened before the stream started, but Darkest Night, if you're still listening, thank you for the membership. By the way, I added new emotes to the YouTube membership. So if you are a member there, you can check the emote list. You have access to a few new ones. Uh, so feel free to use them if you like. What's up, Ragatosh? How you doing, man? I'm still your favorite streamer. I will accept it. I accept that. I accept being everyone's favorite for at least one thing. How would you rank this game so far in the Final Fantasy series? I'd put it on the same level as Remake. I'm going to try... I, 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 it's hard to think of it in the same thing as like the main series because it's like it is a remake and sort of almost like a sequel. In some ways, chat, this game would be put in the same category as like Final Fantasy X-2 and Final, Final Fantasy XIII-2 and Lightning Returns because I, I think we can all agree it is technically a sequel. A pseudo kind of sequel so it's almost kind of weird to think of it as like in the same line as like you know regular number titles i don't know i i will eventually probably will but right now i'm just like yeah, it's its own thing so i'm not really comparing it too much to others blue dragon had a spin-off on ds was an rts game called blue dragon an rts interesting interesting indeed uh, isn't there like a really popular like RPG it just released? It's like uh, Unicorn Overdrive. Or something. I don't know much about it other than I saw people complaining about the localization of it. It's from that studio everyone likes the games of. <laughs> I know, very good description, right? That studio everyone likes the games of. Oh, I know them. Probably give up on FF Type 0 after one stream. It's not. Is that the one that's like a card game? With a bunch of... It's like connected to FF13, but they're all in like cadet uniforms. It never looked interesting to me. And I don't even know to this day what it is. It's like, it's like some weird spin-off experimental game of theirs. The main character has cards he uses for fighting. Alright, yeah. I only want to use cards if it's an actual card game and I'm placing them on a board. Unicorn Overload. I am playing it right now. So it's like a tactic style game, right? Also, how's my mic audio sound chat? It sounded weird in my ear earlier. Maybe I need to turn my monitor up. Maybe I just need to do that. I mean, maybe now it sounds good. Or at least to me it does. I think I had it turned down too low. <clears throat> now, now I can hear myself think. Because I got my headphones on. <laughs> good. All sounds good. Great. You gotta have that good audio chat. You can be forgive bad video quality. No one will accept bad audio. Not a single solitary person. Type 0 is part of that whole 13. Yeah, I have no idea how it works into it though. <laughs> like, I'm not sure how that connects. I think they just like, hey, we got a game. Can we just like consider it part of Final Fantasy 13? And they like, Square Enix was like doing a lot of coke. Blowing through a lot of money then? Like, sure. 
Uh, has it has? Let's see. So it just well, like that. A lot of Final Fantasy games have similar things. Like most Final Fantasy games have a Sid, and Chocobos and Shiva and Ifrit. So just because it has Lassies in it, uh, doesn't mean it's like I don't know. It doesn't feel like the same thing because you can have Lassies appear in something else. It's just like oh, this person's been branded by a curse. <laughs> We got FF13, 13, 13 2, Lightning Returns, Type 0, and maybe... The, well, we never got Versus because that turned into 15, thankfully. I don't know if that's better or worse. Do you think 13 Versus would have been better than Final Fantasy 15, chat? Good question, right? Which would have been better version of it? <laughs> Hard to tell. Maybe 13 Versus would have been a complete game without all the stuff cut out of it. Would have been linked to 13. It would have only been like 10 tangentially linked to it. Like there would have been like a character that shows up in it or something. I think that was like the only link that was like proposed. Just like zero type zero was tangentially linked. I'm, I swear to God, I'm saying this word wrong. <laughs> you ever played Ogre Battle? It's not like that. I've never played Ogre Battle. I know of it. Never played it though. They haven't been able to come up with another iconic Final Fantasy story, sadly. Uh, I don't know. I think 10 was all right. 10 was pretty good. And it's like, yo, what if we had like a big monster that's also your monster dad? Uh, 12 was like, 12 was a very political. It was easily the most politically like manipul- like. 12 was like almost like a Game of Thrones episode, but shit. <laughs> and that it was all about political scheming and power moves. Since it was like said in the Tactics universe. And then, and, uh, yeah, then whatever the hell that mess. That 13 was anime. Bad anime. Hey, Lucky, what's up? And welcome back. How you doing tonight? You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball. Jack just brought his favorite catchphrase with us. We weren't even talking about females. He just can't shut up. Sorry if my voice is a little tired tonight, Chad. I was recording lines, but, uh, as soon as the drugs kick in, I will sure it'll be like pick up to the more you know energetic levels you expect from me. Come to appreciate Tin's story with essential essentiality a god monster, essentially a god monster that keeps coming back to create a continuous hero's journey to bring peace to a world. That is a nice way of thinking about it. Uh, the, the game itself described it as a spiral of death, like Spira is a world of death. I mean. I could see those elements to it, but I didn't really depict it as, like, grim dark enough for me to ever think of it as a world of death. Because you only ever see, like, one town get wiped up, wiped off. And then, like, a bunch of people in a battle get destroyed. Needed a bit more grimness. But it was, it was fine the way it was. FF12 is trying to be Star Wars. I know, I remember saying that exactly in my video, but mainly in the way it looked. The political maneuvering of it, if it was Star Wars, it was, like, the prequel Star Wars. You know, with all those great Senate scenes. You're like a San Mandala. It's more like a San Mandala of death. Fancy words tonight. Uh, yeah, I mentioned earlier, but I uploaded new emotes to YouTube as well. For those of you who are members on that. I forget which ones it was, but I had like a couple new spots to use up. So feel free to like, you know, spam the ones you like in chat tonight at me. I'm sure it'll like, you know, be artistic. <laughs> I think I added the, like, a lot of people's favorites, like Luke Goblin and stuff to it. Never realized 10 was post-apocalypse till you pointed it out. I mean, yeah, it's like several post-apocalypses when you think about it. It's like you have the original one that destroyed everything, and then, like, every couple of years, Sin starts wiping everything out again. So their, their world definitely should be more grim than it kind of gets depicted. But it is the truth. 10 in the second half of FF6. Technically not the second half of FF6, just the final act of FF6. It's like literally like the very tail end of the game. That, you know, is post-apocalyptic. It's an interesting thing they've never really done since, too. Twelves, I found those ghostly guys interesting. One of them going rogue to essentially break the cycle of control. And those other ghost guys to essentially give humanity freedom. Uh, there, there's interesting ideas in Twelve. It's just the execution of it was so boring. <laughs> it's like it could have, 12 could have been really good, but the main cast just did not have chemistry together, I feel. It's especially the main character. 
Uh, and it's the final villain as well. Did not have chemistry too. He's like, eventually he just turns into like a big metal thing at the end and you find him. It feels out of place. So, yeah, 12 had issues. Plenty of them. It felt like playing an MMO expansion pack at times. Kind of redid the post-apocalypse finale in 15. Uh, true. You're right. I didn't think about that. But however, it just made everything dark, and then there was no consequence from, like, a decade of darkness. Like, no one, all the planet isn't frozen, plants aren't dead, and people didn't even lose their tans, from what I could tell. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Did come after 11, which was an MMO. That's what has been my thinking of it, that they were like reusing a lot of the stuff they learned from the FF11 game for 12. Uh, but I never played 11. I don't play MMOs. I hear 14 is pretty good, but it doesn't interest me. <laughs> Does not interest me. Oh yeah, I need to send out my Discord announcement. Almost forgot. I, I, I'm getting to become less and less dependent on these announcements now. <laughs> So I'm forgetting it, like, several minutes into the stream. Isn't FF13 technically post-apocalypse? I don't think so, because I... At least I don't believe it is. Since all the people, humans, just live in, like, their own, like, gated community in the sky. And then the world down below is, like, yo, savage and raw. I don't remember there being, like, a destruction in the past. It becomes that by 13.3, though. Sort of. Because then they're living in, like, a, a new world as God creates an entirely new planet for them. Hey, dear, what's up, Super Tramp? How you doing tonight? How's your day been? <laughs> uh, sometimes I am way too friendly. I probably need to inject a little bit of assholishness into my streaming. Instead of be like, so eager to please. Hey, 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 computer monitor, what are you doing? You go, you turn over to my game. There we go. Rooster Teeth finally died. I mean, we all saw that one coming, right? We all knew that was happening. I would not be surprised if, like, the Dragon Ball of Bridge guys roll over soon. Though I think they have, like, some other side business they do, right? Did you watch Red vs. Blue? I watched the first couple of seasons of it, and then uh, once they got to the point where they started, like, animating things directly instead of playing it in the game, uh, that was a nice voice crack I had there. <laughs> Uh, but once they started animating individual, you know, videos by with traditional animation instead of, you know, actual machinima, I lost interest instantly. It's like, nope. I only liked it when you were just putting voices to the characters in a multiplayer match. That was like the appeal to me. Um, so I stopped around that point. I think it was like a famous animator they got. His name was like Monty Ohm. He did like a, I think he's di he actually died tragically a couple of years ago uh but they hired him on to do the animations and they're just incredibly over the top and so out of place for like what red versus blue was that i was like this is off-putting please stop uh i think i missed some of your episodes and for i mean they're, they're there if you want to watch them but uh it's not necessarily necessary you yeah, having you here watching me live is more than enough uh, Rooster Teeth got bought out by Warner Brothers, and so Ruby and all the Rooster Teeth properties are being sold. That's probably why Warner Brothers bought them. They just wanted those. Or maybe they can't do anything with them? I don't know. Isn't Ruby... Is Ruby not finished yet? I don't I don't know much about it, alright? I just know it was like the thing Monty, Arm, Monty Ohm wanted to do, but then he died in the middle of making it. And then it went downhill after that or something. Uh... I got a totally bullshit Oathbreaker scene from my Paladin in Baldur's Gate 3. All the resisting stealing stuff for the whole game, all for nothing. What did you do wrong, though? You had to do something wrong. Monty loved making fight scenes between women specifically. Well, yeah, he got famous off making Final Fantasy characters fight dead or alive girls, I think. But he had a very unique animation style that was incredibly over the top and floaty. And just is all about spectacle rather than actual good choreography. I mean, it is it's fun to watch once or twice, but it it gets shallow after a few episodes. <laughs> I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan, I guess. 
Uh, I think Ruby is the style, not the country of origin. SP. Hmm. Ruby is a mess. I watched it. I mean, I don't. It's like CG anime. I'm surprised anyone ever gave it a chance, considering I always see people like badmouth actual CG in anime. Like every time it shows up. It's like if you have a traditional animated show and you have a CG scene in it, people are like, I fucking hate this now. <laughs> hate it. But that one that but Ruby was given a pass. Never followed Rooster Teeth all that much. The fact that they made their own anime that had a cult following was pretty. I mean, I do think that is. Usually you don't get an anime out of a Western studio and have it become popular. Somehow they managed to do that, so I guess that is a claim to fame. Because that was fairly popular for a while, wasn't it? I would. Con it's like the Kickstarter anime or something. I think it's because Ruby is independent and people gave it a pass. CG is pretty hard to fit seamlessly in traditional animation, which doesn't help its case. Ruby had a 2D anime. Well, it started out as 3D though, right? Wanted to ask chat what's everyone's opinion on using accessibility settings I have to use due to my disability, but I saw streamers saying he used them when he didn't need it. Game got hard. Uh, I mean, they're perfectly fine. Hey, it helps people play games. Uh, so, whatever. I mean, they even make like specialized controllers for disability, you know? So, I, I can't foresee anyone really having a problem with options that make a game accessible to certain players. But then again, there's plenty of people who are like, I can't believe it. <laughs> Helping people. It's like, if you need them, hey, use them. What I say, stop the gatekeeping. There's sometimes gatekeeping is a good thing, Helping people who just literally are, you know, disabled in some way is not, you know, gatekeeping. That's just, like, a decent thing to do. At least in my opinion. Someone wants to play a game, but they literally have only, like, one hand or something? Hey, maybe come up with a control scheme that they can switch to. You know, I should start using that as an excuse. I, I lost a hand back in the war, chat. That's why I have to play this way. So you, you, you making fun of me. You're screwing that up. You're making fun of a disabled man. <laughs> Besides the CG, I had no idea where the story was going. I, I actually don't know anything about Ruby's plot, other than it's like anime girls. But then that's most anime in general. I think accessibility shows off an art piece even better than without. It's like making a 2D project 5D. You're literally offering players abilities. Yeah, see? There you go. Japanese machine gunner took my shins. Okay, okay Red. Or whatever that you know, king of the old grandpa's name was. I'd like to know how people who are deaf deal with playing RPGs. Uh, captions. <laughs> that simple. I mean, music is a selling point. Uh, you're obviously you're not gonna get everything else from everything from captions, but if you just want to know what's going on and follow the plot, captions. But yeah, music. Uh, but something they get used to, I suppose. Peters had no idea what they were doing with Ruby. They just kind of made anime around Monty's fight scene. That is what I always felt. Anything Monty Ohm did was like, everything was like structured around getting a fight scene out of characters. Funny thing is, is about the fairy tale characters like Red Riding Hood and Goldilocks. Oof. I hear that and I'm like, ooh, God, I'm glad I never watched it. <laughs> There's something super pretentious about, hey, what if we just take all these free to use characters and make them into anime girls? But then also give them guns. It'll work. All right, let me do this up here real quick. Uh, boom. Video game. New way to start playing it at some point tonight. And might as well get started. I could, I didn't, there was nothing really I could do off stream because as soon as I walk through the gate, it begins like a side quest. So I, I, the only thing I did off stream was I finished the card games that let me play here. So I beat the bandit guy and then I like destroyed this small child over here and his dog. Uh, but that's really all I can do here in Coral. So we're going to head out of Coral and try to make our way to the gold saucer tonight. And then get started on, you know, getting through all the minigames. <laughs> uh, Ruby plot is basically summed up by century long lover squirrel. It really was just the most generic anime product possible, wasn't it? Hey, Leonidas, say. 
You know what? Leonidas was a pussy. <laughs> As were all Spartans. Overrated piles of garbage. Can't stop here, Chad. There's a cacti country. <laughs> Some of the directors voice characters in the show, and surprise, surprise, they flirt with the main girls. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, that's just kind of like, you know what? Maybe it is worth watching just to see that level of cringe. Good day, Dardigan, and peeps in chat. Hope everyone's having a good day. Yep, so far, pretty solid. I might I might have eaten a little bit too much earlier, though. I had, like, a bunch of rice. I didn't want to, like, go let it go bad in my cooker. So I was like, you know, I'm going to eat all this in one go. And rice will fill you up quick. Uh, you lag? Am I lagging? I'm not lagging, am I? Doesn't look like it. Why didn't the scan work? Oh, did, she, did you eat my cloud? Before I could even pull off the scan. So many enemies in this game chat eat you. Have you noticed that? Like, so many of them. Have, I've been in so many stomachs in this game. I'm beginning to think these characters are going to develop a fetish. See, when I do it, people tell me the game cheats for me? Nah. It's just giving you a different control scheme, really. Play the game you want to play. Don't listen to the people. Being eaten is a kink? Sadly, yes. What dusty out here? Sandfish. Where that? Where'd that come from? Weak to fire. I got fire on my sword, one thing. Get out of the ground. I gotta, I gotta like parry it, don't I? Oh my god. Also, uh, super tramp. Ten dollars uh, for your super chat word. Did I say something you agreed with? Word is that term you use when, like, the old-fashioned term you use when you, like, yeah. saying the word word used to basically mean the same thing as based. People say based now, it used to be word. Allow 
Okay, uh, Sand Spitter. Evading or blocking their Sand Strike or attacking them when they have emerged from the sand will pressure them. Down. Combat Simulator has been updated. Chad, I want so when this game comes out on PC, I want someone to mod Chadley into like Bobby from King of the Hill. Their sense seems to lead straight ahead. I just for some reason that amuses me. That's not good. What? Nothing. Or possibly Let's that continue. nerdy kid from Ed Ed Nitty. No. Oh. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. Chadley, do you? Have you ever uh, watched any movies about gladiators? Now. Sorry, but this is people food. Even better, butters from South Park. You're right. Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. Hell, you what? There's a main raw that Chadley. Ah, oh, I see you sell propane and propane accessories. Wonderful. That may be of use in my in my studies of like the land. As you know, we need to wean ourselves off of Mako energy. See a guy Natural gas Mako may be an excellent. You know, hmm. I can't keep it up. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. The chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Do we ever get a King of the Hill video game by any chance? I, I I don't know of any of existing. I know there's like other popular like you know, syndicated cartoons that did. I can't think of a King of the Hill game. What would you even do in it? Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> Red 13 hungry. That. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Look, I may not want to be treated like a dog, but I have several dog mannerisms. Who's winning the dating contest? Uh, right now, Aerith and Tifa are tied. Yuffie's dead last, and Barrett and Red 13 on the same level as well. Actually, I wonder what happens if you have like two characters tied when you get to the date. Is it like a 50 50 and randomly chooses? Remind me if I'm wrong, doesn't the date happen when you return to, uh, uh, you know, the, blah, 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 the place? Like, you go on the date when you return to the gold saucer, not the first time you get there? Cloud, look. Yeah, that's what I was they thinking. Be close. So, we probably won't be getting the date anytime use. soon. Compound and the robed individual's sweat will fluoresce when exposed to UVA light. When your flashlight is out, use to shine around the area and track down the missing men. Ugh. These guys glow- wait. You're telling me these, like, robe guys glow in the dark? It means they're sweating that much from their feet? <laughs> what are they eating to get this way? Second time doesn't have no the Aerith's there that with you when you go to the second time. I think the second time you go to the gold saucer is after Rocket Town. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just had to say it, right? I mean we were all thinking it. Don't hold back. Cloud boy would be living disco ball. Wait, what? 
What 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 entertainment have you been reading to give you that idea? You returned from getting cake. What kind of cake are we talking about, brother? What kind of cake? Second time doesn't have error. Hmm. Uh, just some plain white cake with simple frosting. Oh, you know what? Sometimes that's all you need. You ain't celebrating anything. Remind me again, but if I was using an actual UV light, the light it's emitting wouldn't be like regular white like this, would it? This is a regular flashlight that lights up their sweat somehow. Well, Sheeran asked us to rescue his patient. King of the Hill video game was a game that was released on November 13, 2000 for PC and Mac. How did it review? Understood. And what kind of game was it? Was it like open? It couldn't be like anything more than like a platformer or something, right? In Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3, it's rainbow colored. What, a UV light? That's the way they went. Described as a hunting game and got a hunting game. Eh. They could have gone with something more akin with like Simpsons Hit and Run. Because people like still to this day talk about how good that game was. What's up, Apex? How you doing today, man? Hope you've been well. Mm -hmm. And kill on the other hand had no cake. Well, that was a character defining thing about him, though, along with the narrower urethra. My flashlight sounds like a lightsaber turning on. Hue. Usually UV lights are very dim. Yeah, they also look kind of bluish or purplish, I believe. Let's continue using up all these damn potions.
Doesn't the Chimera have Aqua Lung? Uh, you don't learn enemy attacks from this game by letting them use them on you. You learn them by doing Chadley's field research. I'm not sure which is better, honestly, because it's sometimes annoying to get them to use it and learn it in the previous game. Uh, so maybe that's better. Also, $2 super chat from Apex. Got to go. If this stream is up in four hours, I'll be back. Uh, I will probably still be up at that point. It'll be like the final hour of it, though. But hey, sorry you gotta leave, man. Oh, you gotta go. But hey, I understand. <laughs> Anywhere. So this is the. I took the long way around, apparently. You like the concept of learning an enemy's skill by it being used again? Uh, it makes the most sense that way, but I think they decided to change it. So now you learn it by just collecting enemy information. So that, that's where I've noted. You do Chadley's Battle Simulator once you, like, scan enough enemies, and then you can, like, automatically obtain it. Of course, this learns it by uh, items. Uh, true, yeah, but... <laughs> I don't think I ever really used quests in FFA very much. These guys are human anymore. But looks of those things down there. Is it true that you believe in the Transformers? That I believe in the Transformers? Who is spreading this slander about me that I believe in like robots that you'll know, turn into cars? Preposterous. Who could believe such nonsense? No, I only believe in Flat Earth and at the same time Hollow Earth. So I, I, I gotta add at least one contradiction in there. <laughs> yeah, the world is flat and it's hollow, Chad. That's where I'm, that's what I'm sticking to. I don't see anyone disproving me anytime soon. You streamed FF7, I couldn't believe how broken Quisis Limit Break Degenerator was. Uh, true. Well, you can get pretty broken with every character in FF8. Uh, if you, but not nearly as much as you can in seven. But uh, degenerator, yeah, that was pretty nasty. Only on certain enemies, though, generally, and if you use a lot of auras. Do you think it's ever embarrassing to, like, say that your profession is ninja, even in a world where that's a thing? You, you just know that there's like, oh god, I can't believe I had to say that out loud. <laughs> the Earth is actually a giant snow globe. Oh, you believe in snow globe theory? <laughs> oh man, so, so misguided. What are you referencing, Dart? That Yuffie is like the most stereotypical ninja possible. Uh, so I was wondering if that's like ever embarrassing that she's like, I'm a walking anime stereotype. It's it's like, you know, combined with like, you know, the, you know, the rest of her character is like, oof. This is a lady that's going to be like regretting she said and did all this shit years in the future. Just like, oh god, just hope no one took photographs of me. Yuffie noise, nah, Yuffie ain't that bad. They did they definitely understood that her original character was really annoying though. And have made a lot of changes to it to make it more tolerable. Since they were gonna make her no longer optional, they kinda had to. Let 
this way. He went down there. No, if you think about it, wouldn't it be a very hard job to get it into? Or man, well, you're, you're born into being a ninja. You don't like decide you're going to be one. At least like, generally, I think. a lot of work they put into the side quest. A death claw, you say? I mean, it is a very fallout looking area. Grotesque fiends with sturdy exoskeletons and dense muscles often found in deserts. They sharpen their claws relentlessly and never let their prey escape. Evading the reaper claw attack will pressure them. like a Zerg Protoss hybrid from Starcraft. Oh, you're right. Keep in mind, they had to like take the enemy designs from that original FF7 game and like transition them into like actual like modern looking models. So it does result in some pretty goofy looking monster designs sometimes. We still haven't seen the Triceratops tank, no less. Which everyone's been waiting on. Actually, there's an enemy design I'm waiting to see. We probably won't see into the third game because I'm wondering how they're going to implement it. Because there's this one type of like random enemy in ff7 it's just a hot lady in a bikini <laughs> she's like a witch or something but she's like a bikini witch if you remember that i think they're like an ice witch or something but this is like here's a hot lady in a bikini and so i'm wondering if that's gonna be like, turned into a boss fight from the ice area i think she appears in like three different areas like in the northern crater and like an ice area but uh there's like three of them with individual names, so I'm thinking they're gonna probably turn them into like a boss fight somehow. Better give us the tank ceratops, yes. People have been wanting the triceratops tank. Snow is the name of that enemy. You still dislike the stagger mechanics? Generally, I'm not a huge fan of it, since usually stagger mechanics are just in there because they have like enemies with a lot of health. Uh, in this game, it's not nearly as bad as it was, say, in 16, where it got noticeably annoying at times. Because th in this game, you also have a party and a bigger combat system that allows you to, like, work with it and, like, take advantage of it more. Uh, whereas in 16, it got a little old because you were just playing Clive the entire time. Alright, so what do I do with this? Oh, we need... Do we need Yuffie for that? Oh, Cloud- wait, what? Cloud just takes over Yuffie's position? Kind of disappointed with that. I thought that'd be like her unique thing. She gave him the rope. Assuming I go over there. Or not. I must have to get on that one. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, okay, once we go there, I think. Yeah, there. All right.
Uh, and this part where I slip off the rope because my upper body can't hold on any longer, well, no one's going to be doing what you just saw me do in real life, which is like grapple from one grapple point to the other. It's actually not even possible. Agree with Sagger system in FF16 was so nerfed compared to FF7 Remake. I think uh, it is a compensate for so many of Clive's ultimates uh, that can pause time and take advantage of Stagger. It's also just when you play as one character for that long, you kind of eventually do see everything he's capable of. So like staggering an enemy just means you do the same, you will know, usually like string of moves to a downed enemy for a bit and just loses interest. All right. All right, we got a little bit of everything. German require watch. I like that they th they realized some at some point during testing, painting the rocks yellow wasn't enough. They also had to paint the ones around it blue. Chat, we're digressing. Yeah. We need even more guidance. Chat, I just thought of a great idea for a gameplay mechanic. Hear me out. What if you have a game where you have a yellow paint gun, and if you shoot yellow paint onto like a door, a locked door, it instantly becomes like an open opening door that will take you where you need to go. And if you spray yellow paint, sort of like Splatoon, but Splatoon is just about covering it up and winning points. This is like an actual mechanic. You unlock doors by hitting them with yellow paint. And if you spray yellow paint on walls, those surfaces become climbable. This could totally be an actual indie game mechanic. Reduces the cost of like playtesting because now if you get lost, just use your yellow paint gun. The guidance gun. There we go. We'll call it that. Portal 2 kind of did that. It's not the same thing. I know you're thinking of those games did have paint like guns, but they didn't do this. What I'm saying is, if you ever get lost in the game, you pull out the paint gun, you shoot like a door, that door can now be opened, it will take you where you need to go. Or if you need to climb up somewhere, you shoot yellow splotches on the wall and you can climb those splotches. This is fucking genius. No one, none of you better steal my idea, it's multi-million dollar, you know, concept written all over it. I'm gonna speak with the developer tomorrow about it. How did Bear get across? He has one hand. This dude can climb with one hand. We've seen it. Speedrunning community lost their mind over the possibility. <laughs> yeah, it definitely needs to be in a game that allows you to break it too. Because the whole concept is like, you know what? Get through this game using the yellow paint gun. It opens every door. Gives you an infinite amount of possibilities to get through the game in whatever way you want. Hello, what's up, Pixel? How are you doing? See, chat, I too can be a game designer. Between this and my snow day idea, I have already had like a concept for, you know, for an entire series. Two series, in fact. Snow Day, it was basically the idea, what if you took, like, like, made a game that was all about really good snow technology? Like, you know how in most games when you walk through snow, it like, you know, deform around you and form, like, trails? <clears throat> I want a game that takes it to the next level, allows you to, like, craft, like, snowmen and igloos and everything else with, a, with you know, your character in snow, and, you know, using snow as, like, a building block in game. Uh, so you get, like, and you know what? I'm sorry, it just seemed like a good idea to me. I'm, I'm pretty sure that would sell. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! Was the guy behind you? Huh? Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. The kidnapper could be anywhere. Or anyone. A smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo. 
Aren't you a clever little puppy, sniffing out the truth? Okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. You even have matching Ellie, tattoos. Be elusive. Bury the brat. Came but death claw. <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Cool getting knocked around. Team Rocket with guns. We got plenty of Enix Dunce. Be careful. It's not over yet. Now. Going in. Now you're in. You're as good as dead. So does it feel as good to you to finish a fight with a limit break as it does to me? Give us the guy or you're next. Ah, oh, shit. Now what? Now? Now nothing. Dog or no dog, they're never going to be able to find that dude without us. Hear that? Give us the money or we're going to... What? <sighs> hey! We told you to stay put! I knew we should have tied him up. <sighs> what? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! <sighs> Let him go. And have you ever realized we're terrible at capturing people? We always just let them go. Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And see for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. <sighs> Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was going to have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. Hey, this guy's gonna the be the cl doctor to watch Cloud. Oh, uh, that's a possibility. He'd so have to like change so locations I though. Anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, 
the better. Personally, I think this guy is just suffering so from irritable bowel syndrome. Classic table? symptoms. No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. If there's one thing you can count on, it's Dr. Sheeran. Good. He's been here since the old mining days. It's like a bench. There we go there. At least detain them. Look, we, we have to respect people's rights. No detaining people. We wouldn't even like go after Hojo after he attacked the beach party. No stealing. Or you're out. Got that? Yeah, but you let me sleep here for free, so why would I steal? You don't even pay for your inns in this game. Keep the bed bugs. They're on the house. What are you gonna give them to? Look, Hojo is a person you can kill without being you know, morally wrong. Alright. Yeah, there's no side quest left to do in here, so we're gonna head out. <clears throat> Actually, the only side quest I have left to do is the one where I just, like, get a cactuar crown for Johnny. I just want everyone to know YouTube is, like, constantly reminding me, like, hey, now would be a great time to insert an ad break into your stream. I hate that crap. observe the species of bird that likes to gather at Life Springs? It's a new one entirely, which I have taken to calling Spring Seeker Owl. If you ever have trouble locating a Life Spring, I suggest following these creatures. What do you got? We still have to, like, get Alexander, but we need to have two more stones of mine. Oh, uh, I haven't unlocked any more battle arenas yet. Well, no, there is one which I get wind materia from, which I don't even really need. You know what I I think now is a good time for an ad break? I never Needless run, say, intentionally run ads, and I never will. On the road, so take care. Like, when I'm streaming, I'd rather people just be able to watch in peace. And not have to like get an ad break. Wouldn't recommend going out there unless you got a death wish. Plus, when you like insert ads into your live stream, people will just leave. Wrong way? Are you sure? Oh yeah, that is the wrong way. It was the wrong way. Thank you for reminding me. So I'm headed over, over there, I think. So join in her lament. Share in her rage. Come, raise your voice. We'll be like back after those short measures. Now, if they could make the ads more like they were, say, in like old Saturday morning cartoons where there's like claymation dog, like, after these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> Then we'd have something. No commercials for darting in stream? Nah. One, I'd rather not. I'd rather people just watch and enjoy themselves and not have to like deal with like ads popping up. And what's more, I don't really stream for money. It's nice to get it, but if, yeah, streaming is a hobby I do for fun. So I'm not even worried about it. Yo, YouTube is where I make money, so, and I'm happy with that. Soon to be Patreon on top of that. Streaming, I'd, hey, I'd, I'd stream for free, honestly. Uh, what in the style of Gumby animation? I just remember like an old Saturday morning cartoon whenever they go to like, an you know, commercials. There'd be like a claymation dog with a guitar like, After these messages, we'll be right back. They should have actually had one that say, Please get your parents to buy these toys for you. <laughs> let's be honest, that's what they were for. Ready? Then let's get a move on. Head to the gold saucer. You'll not be able to return to North Coral for some time. Uh, yeah, let me just double check. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe there's anything left for me to do. It's like, we've done everything we can. We even did, like, the one side objective they gave me. So, gold saucer time, Chad. There it be. Then let's get a move on. You ready? 
Is everyone ready for mini games for the rest of the night? <laughs> it's gonna be good times ahead. This will take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, Husky, thank you for the 57 hey, months, man. You can't let those assholes talk to you like that. You should go back and beat them up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed. You never sinned OG Silent Hill. Funny you should mention that. I actually just finished a script for that today. I told you. I can take it. That being said, it's going to be a Patreon video. You could at least tell us Not sure how you feel about that. They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? Much decent place with decent coal, decent clean burning fuel, too. rough around the edges, but big hearts, salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Wins in GTA 4, hopefully this year. Took away their future and their hope. You know, honestly, Coral should be doing much better. It is right next door to, like, we were the Gold happy. Saucer, which is the biggest tourist attraction in their world. Dirt, but none of that they have no one to blame but themselves. Had friends and family, and that was enough. This could be like a tourist resort town. Until we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> So now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers. Honestly, I kind of wanted Dine to have an Australian accent. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> If I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is to be rooting for coal. Look, Mako is made from people's grandmothers. Coal, just a dead dinosaur or plant in the ground. gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless we gonna let them tell us we're worthless it would seem we've reached an impasse in which case any further discussion would be a waste of breath so mr. mayor shall we put it to a vote I don't like Barrett's old jacket. Well then, all in favor? Where's Barrett's wife? Did he have a wife? Maybe they like got rid of that in this game. Two years later, the reactor was finished and the trial run went off without a hitch. Everyone was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. They seem to do that a lot. Y'all saw the aftermath. Wasn't it? Yeah. That 
bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lie right through their teeth. Murderers. Officer's waiting. Damn, Barrett. <clears throat> well, time for fun and games. or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with hey, it. Hey, Dora, you like jarring shift in tones? You know, as long as they have, like, a little bit of a transition. Shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. See, there you the go, the transition. Saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right. Clouds are like, oh, no, no, no. I really want to play that boxing game. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Uh. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Just a second ago, you were like, oh, and now you're like, if no one's looking at me. Figure it out, Barra. Do you want pity or not? It did not look like that from a distance, by the way. <laughs> look! Look, look, look! Something's coming! The theme song, chat. Why would you be excited about holograms of the Freet and Shiva when you can summon the this real is thing? Incredible. I like to think they do this every single time there's a car that comes up for just a few people in it. Cost millions, but damn it, put on a show for those fine people. <laughs> they don't have them. I have Shiva and Yipri. Come on, come on. Shall we? Let's. <laughs> you can tell Barrett's really upset because he put his sunglasses back on. That's how you, you know, Chad. He's hiding the pain. And he's going, uh We're robe man. I see no robe man. How did you get here? We took a trolley. Look at that materia, buddy. Yoink. <clears throat> All of healing material. <laughs> I feel bad now because he clearly like, I, I really could use a Kiranga. Hmm. <laughs> 
this dude? Oh yeah, the butter tea guy. Barrett Wallace, Tifa Lockhart, and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look. Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? You better get hit by a truck later. At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Yeah, but they, they closed the space division. You better get... Uh, yeah, it must really suck though when you're on the board and you ha yeah you're gonna be like delivering posters to people wanted posters. Cloud. That's like a shit job. Yeah, it's like you give given because you're useless and you know it. Oh, that, those are just running off. The space division, yeah, they like Shinra kind of closed up its space operations, so. Palmer's job is a little redundant. I guess he still gets paid for it, though. I like how these robe guys can get through the ticket lines no matter what. <laughs> you think they're just that intimidating? It's like, yeah, just go on, buddy. Yeah, 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 reunion. Robo Koopo. That vehicle seems familiar to me. Hmm. This is our desert park. Chaotic area. raid alert. Brace for mischief. Hey, for Minzy, thank you for the raid. And, their companions. and also thank you for the warning. <laughs> Hope you didn't you've been well today. We're about to spend many, many hours doing mini games. Who was thought the reason Coral was so poor is because of the gold saucer? I didn't pay attention to the story uh, at all. Yeah, I mean, well, it doesn't actually make any sense that they are so poor since they could, like, the, the right next to a major tourist attraction. That's usually pretty good for the economy. But I guess they just don't know how to, like, you know, take advantage. Or maybe, no, the gold saucer is like, it's like, it is just like a bunch of, like, discs in the sky. So maybe don't, people don't travel out of it very much. Excuse us. Coming through. <sighs> oh, there he be. Wait, that's one of my summons, though. Hold what? You can just do that to a random person in the crowd? Yeah, he shot a dress spear at her. They have a dance-off cut. <laughs> okay, here's the real winner. Dio chat. Does he have a bulge? Do you think someone like that doesn't have a bulge? Chat, 
Okay, where in the season of an anime does this episode fall? His twink sensor is activated. There he is. Our challenger for the evening. <laughs> Thought it was a simple mayor, but it was an idea. Eternally, this is the mayor of Gold Saucer. To our gilded paradise, the Gold Saucer. Dio, our director. Please tell Thank me in the you, Japanese sir. version of this, they got Dio's, uh, the other Dio's voice actor wow. for this guy. Please, someone well, to confirm well. that. Shall we do? Oh, this could have been a mini game, the handshake. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise. No, to I it. missed opportunity. Are you ready to rumble? Oh, is this a card battle? You can do this, Cloud. Oh, never mind. Even better. Virtual you know, rhythm dance off with our mind. Give him a right hook with R2. Guard with left and right stick. Give him a right hook with R2. Oh, it's L2 it wants me to use. This used to be rock, paper, scissors, by the way. <laughs> Hitting the button. Shit. There we go. Okay, I got to land two hits in a row. <clears throat> You're getting the twink punched. <laughs> You're getting the twink punched out of me. Well, 
spot. Uh oh. Wait, I've got a limit break, right? Nope. I didn't really get that too much. Oh well. That would have only increased my reputation with your red 13 anyways. But no cigar, young man. Cloud's like challenge me in Street Fighter, old man. <laughs> Yeah, do you think kids get uncomfortable around this guy? Did I forget the tutorial you just played? It didn't really teach you very well. At least I didn't think it did. You have to hit the side he puts his arm down. I didn't notice that detail. Goofy's pop star outfit has been added to the changing booth. Some of the mini games are a bit of a mess when you make that mini. Some of them are bound to be. Cloud's used to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Tell him about that. Well, see, I'm still in more popular. It's chatted. It seems like you can't do anything but go up in popularity with your friends, because I'm now like, you know, popular with Red 13 after that. You can only win and succeed, all right? I'm gonna meet the mascots. Dio versus Barrett. Who would win? Good question. I don't know. Humanoid where work. I like the little kid doing the cactuar dance. Where was he hiding that ticket? Don't not ask about where he pulls that ticket out of. I don't even want to think about it because there's very few locations he could have been keeping it. There's a reason why we're letting Yuffie hold it. <laughs> Becoming more dog like. Have your thoughts. <laughs> While you still. Several have giving time. you permission, Cloud. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm alright. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Hi. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> strong clashing of tones. FF7 is nothing but strong clashing of tones at times. Get some sleep, okay? Like here we are, this group of people were eco terrorists wanted by the government. We're trying to save the world, and we are now on our second vacation.
go square. You know, I'm surprised they let us in here carrying all this heavy weaponry. Like, imagine Disneyland letting you walk through the front gate with a minigun, chat. It's like, oh, welcome to Disneyland. Uh, would you like to check that your automatic cannon you have with you, sir? What about that, you know, the two meter long buster sword? No? Yeah, I can't do anything but head to the hotel for now. There's like, I really want my room plot. I really need that room. I want Barrett to be the one to say, man, I'd kill for a shower for once. What the hell is wrong with those guys? It won't last. What? By the way, can you guys hear me over this, like, yo, enthusiastic music right now? Long buried. Let's go check. Whoa. Yeah, I wish we did have hallways like this. Okay, I would definitely, if there was an option to like stay at a hotel that like books itself and looks like this, I would take it. I kind of forgot about the ghost hotel you stay at in the Gold Saucer, actually. <laughs> However, when you think about it, this is a world where ghosts actually exist, so... I mean, we fought some of them. Maybe this is considered disrespectful. Can you believe this shit? This is what the planet's dying for? This is why we're bleeding our dry? Look at it. Look. All of it. Marco. Siphoned straight from the life stream. From our veins. Hey, get a grip. Uh, get Barrett hates ghosts and goblins. What do we have here? A man with a rain cloud over his head. So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just let me go shoot in the messenger, eh? Some kind of toy. Yippee, lads! Eyes up here. Huh. Okay, Seth. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. Huh. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back up! You coming? What is that accent supposed to be? Scottish. Since Kate Sith is like a creature from Scottish legend. That's what they went with for it. However, it is going to be weird when you find out who Kate Sith really is, because then you realize he's just putting on like the worst impression possible. <laughs> Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Well, they animated the hell out of Kate Sith. Strange. Most folks like me. I was wondering if they could actually even do this character in the game. But they managed it, the mad lads. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. You're in a hunt showdown match, but when you're done, you'll be in yours. Uh, hey, well, take your time. No worries. Good luck on your match, by the way. That's one of those games I thought about playing multiple times, but never did. I wonder exactly how the person who controls Kate Sith exactly does it. I'm assuming it's like they got a suit on that makes it match their movements. Or it's like brain control. 
Shinra is capable of making cyborg robots like Chadley, why would they? I, I mentioned that earlier, like it, once we, I found out Chadley was an android or a cyborg. It's like you, you, the, the guy wouldn't need to have Kate, I wouldn't need Kate Sith like that. I guess he just wanted to disarm us with cuteness though. Hmm? I thought the outside was tacky. Seems classy now. You know what, Bear? I'd love this place. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Though it is reminding me a little bit of like Luigi's Mansion. Mario! Mario! Mario? Is asleep no more with like more traditional monsters in it. That's what happens when we ring the bell. The desk, the clerk appears to be option. Jump scare Jackie incoming, Chad. Understand. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all. Yeah, we got the golden tonight. ticket, buddy. For crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more He's time? He's a hacker, Chad. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> he the just ruined someone else's vacation. Have just become available. Shall I book them for you? It feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> Toodaloo! Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator. You're in at the six top people's vacation? Stairs. You're right. <laughs> I'd love to have this job. What about the food guy? Can we get is it the food guy at the table yet? The room service here is next level. Nope. <laughs> Are. 
the offer still stands, a fortune or two to steer you true. How's the game Anything treating us? Pretty damn good. But of course. What's controlling this, Kate Sith? That That's a question that. for a later stream. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose. What you cherish most. My sword? Oh, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <sighs> you good? Or would it be his hair? Yeah, it's just... What I cherish most? Uh... See what this crap does. My apologies, sir. Like, Kate Sith character model almost looks too good. It's jiggly and fuzzy and everything else. I gotta hand it to them. They did a great job on that. Odd. My readings are normally that can't have been an easy character to animate since it's two silver pieces. It's buoyant, yes. Very buoyant. Wait, did she say she wanted to be surrounded by Marlboros? Girl a freak. <laughs> she into that, into that, you know, freaky shit. <laughs> Alright, let's check out our room. The cigarette node like the thing with tentacles. Is it? Oh, I like this elevator guy. I'll think you logic with 100 bits, by the way. Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Under the name Palmer, Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the time, you just know Kate Sith intentionally course. chose Palmer's room for a reason, Mr. by the Palmer way. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> you know what? I respect that attitude. Waitress? Cat she. I <laughs> like how you're using the old-fashioned name for him. 
Hazing Palmer. Yeah, what? You know what? He's gotta get his mo his licks in somewhere. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Barrett, how can you not have fun here, alright? Vincent would love this place. I wonder, would he? VA doing Palmer is Doc Ock from Sony Spider-Man games. Interesting. I wouldn't have guessed because it's see, he's got a lot of range. It's a tomboy Roomba. Tonberry Roomba, not tomboy. Void of the shank. Start to miss Johnny's seaside flea trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. You only one bothered by the idea that in the original game, uh, he gave a fortune to Eris and Cloud about being happy together. And right after the next hey, time you see her, as you pretty mm, weird lately, Cloud. Well, that was kind of the point, right? Well, he might be do that again. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. We'll be coming back here later. Oh, I'm gonna rub this, and Diablo is gonna pop out. Or no. <laughs> You're making a body pillow for your VTuber model? Hope it sells well. You mean Dio? No, I'm talking about an FF8 reference. Where you get a magic lamp from like Robin Williams and then if you rub it you have to fight Diablo. adorable chat. I didn't even know Tom Berries cared about berries other than just their name. Trolled. <laughs> Absolutely trolled. This watches me, doesn't it? This is like if someone took like a Scooby-Doo mansion and turned it into an actual like yo hotel. Which is a genius idea that someone should do or they haven't done. So gotta kill him? I actually gotta get a crown for one to complete Johnny's side quest. That's our main bud. Seriously though, where's the restroom? <laughs> There's no restroom in this suite? Alright. Nothing helps me sleep better than a knife wielding gremlin with a glowing Sorry, eyes. Man. Well, it's marketing, man. I feel like I failed you. Hmm. I think you've hundred bits, by the way. Sorry, man. I feel like I failed you.
Oh, we got a fixed camera moment. Okay. Huh. Never seen material like this before. Something about the color. Didn't peg you as a bookworm. Stare awkwardly at Cloud. <clears throat> Not about to do a Shinji, is he? Oh god. What 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 must you bring that perversion into this? I'm so fucked up. <laughs> So the squeaky floorboards. Nope. She got those fixed. They're not squeaky in this timeline. This timeline, one of the many differences. I don't think these flowers are doing too well without Aerith. Looking like they've lost their luster. Fixing the boards changed the entire timeline. Wait, what? She's also <laughs> looking after her here? Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. What is this? This is Zachary's <laughs> alive in a different timeline. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey. Did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Vix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. Oh. How do you know him? I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> Sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. Huh? You mean it? Always do. Honest and true. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like the rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Is this the time lip? We're, I'm still, I, I don't want to like theorize on it because someone might come into Not chat and tell kid. me if I'm right or wrong. I'd rather be surprised. <clears throat> but we assume it's like a different timeline. Who's at the door? Hey, how are you?
are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right. Just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am, the odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What, like you can't? I don't know. I act like I can, think I always have. Ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? Wait, did Tifa with win the date with Cloud in no my pressure. game? Or is that gonna be later? For it. Uh, gold saucer points. Participate in the park's attractions that are in gold saucer points, then exchange your GP for illustrious collector's items as well as other useful trinkets. A kiosk located around the park. I don't think this is the official day. That comes later. Don't do the sky will until last. I was I, I was thinking the exact same thing. Usually it, t it gives you a marker on the map to tell you if it's like story focused stuff. Pre-date. You gotta have pre-date before you have the main date chat. Red was here in your playthrough? Oh, so maybe it is the date. Alright, no big date. No biggie. Hey, Apex, have a good night, man. At this part, it's always Tifa. Oh. I like the Barrett's suspicious of someone with a gun when he has one on his arm, literally. It's like, I'm the only one who can do that. It was Aerith? Okay, maybe it does change here depending on your status. So, some people are saying they got different people here. Chadley, really? Oh, Chadley, can you leave us alone for one minute? Hello there, Cloud. It's not often I see you in the company. This is like stalker honor. behavior. Oh, yes. I believe I understand the situation. Forgive me. I didn't mean to intrude. You're both overdue for a break. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Excuse me, Cloud. I would like to watch Human Courtship, if you don't mind. I very much would like to study this. I think I can make some wonderful new materia from this information cloud. Just so you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. If you want to exchange your points, you'd better hurry before I turn. Cool. <laughs> okay, so when you get your points, you get stuff, Tomberry, Secrets of the Ninja, Card, Haunted Hotel. The next potion. Come back soon, because I don't think I have that much time left. You love her? She's just reminding you of that Teen Titans girl or something, isn't she? To the robotic guide Moogle to fast travel from one area of the park to another. Where would you like to go, Kubo? Uh, well, some of it's logged off. Venture World, Park Central, Welcome Area. Or wait, I guess. No, these are locked off. So I guess we'll go, we've already been to these two, so we'll go to Adventure World. And away we go. 
those are Moogle robot Moogles that teleport you. you. Gotta love a living dead girl. Or the Rob Zombie song. Living dead girl. Hmm. Give me a cat tar popsicle. You can hear a little bit of Kate Sitz theme when you're next to him like this. the town red main scenario battle square and chocobo square sky sky will square is the last one we're supposed to go to because that'll like move it forward wonderment square and event square how's the gold saucer we're literally now just having our run of it Let's go to Battle Square. I think in the ori didn't in the original game you had to jump through like tubes to go to any like the squares. It's like you got sent like you were the part of the mail. These are tubes, yeah. This is the, their idea of how the tubes work now, since I guess it makes a bit more sense. Okay, Kate Sith is beginning to like have Chudley energy where he can appear anywhere. Actually, isn't this... Hmm, wonder if I should be going here yet. I should actually save, just in case. So I remember there, there was like a battle arena in this place. Not a fan of Kate Sith's new voice, you mean like his only voice? Because I think he only had like two or three lines in that FF7 movie. Do you think Chadley talks too much? Chadley is one of the most important characters in the game with the most lines. When you think about it. He is like, without him, the game just doesn't work anymore. Like he is literally only like a rung below the main party. Hey Tiva, wanna like fight people on our date? Are you interested in joining the fray? Face off against a variety of opponents as a two-person team in Musclehead Coliseum to earn prizes and gold saucer points. Note the wall items cannot be used in the arena, you will recover some of your HP and MP after every round. Two-person bout the zoomies. <clears throat> Tifa or Aerith, I've said many times Cloud's mom. I can see why they call this the zoomies. Be careful. After you. Okay, let's go. 
Cloud's dead. This is not gonna go very well. This can't be how it ends. Loud age shit, Claire. Mm. <clears throat> that, that is not an easy fight. Mm. We challenge that though. Two rounds to it. Everything here just knocks me off my feet. Kiranga yet, Jesus. Come on. Ready. Deal with that. I got you. Come on. Take that. Take them all warmed up. Hey, Tiva seems to do the most damage of those things. Really, the lava guys are weak to ice. I didn't really have time to do anything but cast Kira on myself. Boy, auto cast paired with healing would do very well here. True. This one is so much easier. Buzz off. Please sign the waiver for the video. You don't understand this is all like just like fake fighting. We're using foam weapons right now. The first round was the actual hard part of that. Let's keep it up. Bag of potion and a gold saucer point. Rated three more of those. Hmm. Let me let me heal up first. Give us a holler when you want to throw down. Well, actually, we're almost fully healed. 
Hey, this is a good way to get those battle points, all right? Excellent way of earning battle points. Be having fun on just fighting people on her day. <laughs> Welcome All right, date. I said the wrong name. I said Aerith. You know what? Already a bad move. I got no Riz. Like, did you just call me Aerith? Oh. <laughs> well, we get the cool music again. The goon squad. <laughs> it is literally a goon squad at this point. You know that character model is pretty accurate to how it looks in the in the original PS1 version. Ooh, ooh, ee, what the frick? A white moose? It looks like other things, chat. What are you weak against? I got you now. Uh, nothing. Hitting it with elemental damage will pressure them, but also cause them to develop a resistance and begin absorbing that element. Once they gather enough energy, they will unleash a powerful magic attack. Nice anime grunts. Does anyone realize that? That is a very good. A lot of MP right now would be very good. Oh, no, actually, we'll save that. You didn't want to comment like I do on Leon's modes and Pain and Dead by Daylight. All done. Yeah, this, this is a man who's probably recorded some anime lines before. 60 more gold saucer points to mind the do. I'm also getting the scrolls of the ninja stuff for SP. Right, uh, level 39. Oof. I'm only level 30, chat. We'll give it a shot. Nine levels of hubby. That just means we're playing fair. Ok, 
Okay, this is feeling very similar to that fight I had against the Zoomies. Okay, I do know most no damage to them, by the way. There's no way. You're a little too high level. Nine levels is a hard fight above yourself. So we'll get back to that one. You know, we, we did two of them. We're pretty good. You know, gold saucer point tail the red way. I'm only assuming that one's probably like over level 42. We're always looking for contenders. Well, we finished the battle thing as far as we can go. Tifa could definitely use a shower after that. Kill for shower. Buy a fat joke. Muscle in and exchange your gold saucer points for fabulous prizes. Hmm. So every one of these guys have like different prizes, it seems. You can get a Dio card. Or level boost materia. I think I've got one of those. I have no idea what these things do for you. I've gotten a few things like uh, the Rufus Shinra cutout. They don't seem like you can place them anywhere. They go in Costa del Sol while they go. Johnny takes them? Oh. I must not have unlocked that yet since I still haven't got to finish his quest. Protein shakes. All the fighters are so cool. I'm so friggin' hyped for this. A little rough and tumble. How do you think this technology works, Chad? Is this like a frictionless floor? Western have a good diamond. All right, uh, what's next? Speed Square or Chocobo Square? Now let's go to the Speed Square. I wonder what would happen if that walkway malfunction? Would it shoot you off? And I, I know, right? That's why knowing how it works is vital. the used tissues the, the used tissues <clears throat> Gilgamesh army it's Iron Man Or maybe it's one of those guys from that uh, Hell, that game that's popular right now. <laughs> Hell Raiders or Hell Divers. He's got a cape and everything. Is that how you were back when you enlisted? Not quite that great, I hope. Or Super Earth. Hey, Ruth, what are you doing here? Place just isn't that fun when you're all by yourself. 
There must be someone out there who'd want to hang out with a cool person like me. Stop it. Hm? This isn't the time to go making new friends, right? Yeah, you heard the man, Aerith. Uh, all I'm saying is, anyone can put on a friendly face, including Shinra spies. They could be anywhere, waiting to pounce. <laughs> he doesn't know how right he is. Thanks, but I'm not that naive. I know a Shinra creep when I see one. If you say so, just stay sharp, okay? Oh, I will. Sharp as a tack, promise. Now go. Enjoy your date. See, I don't know. Look, it was like a flip of the coin. It could have been either one of them. They're both, like, matched. And break through the enemy's defensive line. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and look for Red. See what he's up to. Your actions will decide not only the outcome of this war, but the fate hmm. of the galaxy. Space Rangers, ho! Greetings, recruit. Here to exchange points. Hmm, play starts first. Star Ranger. Solaris, sharpshooter's companion. Make us proud, Space Ranger. Three-way date ain't a three-way. <laughs> Can lead to one, though. The Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Waver in the face of danger. We must fight together to bring an end to this. Ready for blast off, Ranger? Wait, do I fly this? <clears throat> Join the Space Rangers in their fight. Do a barrel roll. R2, shoot, proton bomb, triangle, restorative charge. Sure, why not? Kind of having a three way with you now. You're streaming on YouTube as well. Yeah, YouTube, you're having a three way. Well, I wouldn't put it that way. Yeah, I was not expecting in like a you'll you'll well this in a this game, by the way. We're basically getting Star Fox. Star Fox? Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Do a barrel roll? I can. This this is just kind of the gummy ship, isn't it? Now that I think about it, more gummy ship than Star Fox. Gosh, cloud. Boss fight. Televere. Very well done. I dare say you've earned yourself a medal. 
I'm assuming this goes until you die. Missing the part where you customize. I don't think they went that far this minute here. Mother shit. This feels like playing an old school like Sega Saturn game or something. Got Star Fox in this game? Yeah, the, there must have been like several teams alone working on all the mini games. Yeah, look at that. Total score 31,000. Not too bad, right? If I didn't know better, I'd say you've done that. We got all the way through rank one and rank two in one go. The only one we didn't get is rank three. What was the other? What was rank three for you? I'm not doing it again. I just want to see what it was. Uh, you, s uh, you get the Space Ranger Service Medal. I came close. I was only like 4,000 off. Rank 3 is worth it. What, for the Space Ranger Service Medal? I might do some of these off screen, you know, because we're probably going to be spending the rest of the gold saucer tonight here. So, I might get another chance. Yep, gold. No, well, you do get gold stronger points. I, I just want to see other stuff right now. Five percent of the magic attack boost, not bad, not bad at all. Right. The first foremost, we see everything. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and look for Red. See what he's up to. Wait, let's use this. It'll be quicker. Uh, I want to go to Chocobo World. Okay, it's right next to us. I guess we have to go to it first before it let us fast travel. Eris says she's going to become a furry. I don't think that was her intention, but you know what? You read into it the way you want to hear. You actually earn Sephiroth's sword instead of a replica? I don't know. News to me. I'm assuming it can't be the real thing. Chad, how, Chad, would you would you uh, believe me when I tell you that the gold saucer was actually really fucking annoying in the original game? <laughs> because some of those mini games really did blow. And if you wanted to get the really good stuff in the game, you had to spend hours and hours grinding away at them. <laughs> so I do remember like not really liking <laughs> the square that much because of that. Square. You got on the floor, ground floor. Janky, I mean, they were doing their best, but you can only do so much with that engine back then. So a lot of the mini games were just really rough. Hmm. Where is this way? I can't find my way to it. OG saucer was rough. Yeah, there was. They obviously spent the most time on just making the chocobo racing, so all the other ones kind of like were really rushed. 
You can do the battle square over and over again? Yeah, but I'd really just like to check out everything. Where is the goddamn chocobo place? Could be that tube, right? You spent so much time racing in a breed of choice because you had to. Map and the gold saucer is annoying. Yeah, a little bit because it's all like, eh, would you like to go up a bunch of stairs? Can't go this. I don't want to go to the sky wall right now. to do battle square over and over to grind up GP consistently. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that was pretty much the best way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Go to the Wonderman Square. Just don't go in Skywall. Battle Square, the Space Ranger minigame are best. Uh, you mean in this game? Um, I've done both of those so far, so we're just checking everything else. Cardigan, would you take your girl out like this? I've done better than this. <laughs> you think I've got weak, weak game like this? Please. Cute trying a flower. Oh, Cactoro. Aha! I knew you'd come crawling out of your room eventually. I mean, seriously, who could resist the siren song of the saucer? You alone? Yeah, got a little sidetracked and wound up losing the others. Well, feel free to join us if you want. And be a third wheel? No thanks. I know when I'm not wanted. This is the David Busters at this point. <laughs> this place looks fun, huh? Now we're talking. That was practically calling your name. Bet you kill on it. I literally did kill on it. <laughs> You're afraid of a little video game? Whatever. Let's see how it stacks up against the real thing. You remember that deal, that, that motorcycle thing you do in the previous game? Well, we brought it back. <laughs> Cloud's epic motorcycle fight on the Midgar Expressway has been recreated in the arcade game G-Bike. Hitting pursuing troops, collect point panels, and fill your nitrous boost gauge with boost panels. Cross the finish line with the highest score possible. L2 break, R2 accelerate, left attack, right attack, R1 guard, spinning slash nitrous boost. Definitely want to do Queen's Blood, yup. It should do it. <clears throat> I'm such a Chad. Well, thank you. I'm not, though. Didn't this just happened a few days ago. You're right. How they make it so quick? Good question. It's almost like it doesn't make any sense.
Miss the nitros over there. We've added a lot more people to it. What's, what are these lyrics? I got about 25,000. Alright. Not bad. Almost had it. It seems to be the, you know, the case for most of the time I do these mini games. Sure, I got level Not 1. Let me see if rank 1. So, what were the other ranks? 25,000 and you get the... Actually, I did go with rank 1 and rank 2. It's just rank 3. You get the whistle wind scarf and a gold saucer. Okay. Just need that rank 3. We'll, we'll see if we can get some rank 3s once I've seen everything. We got a lot to explore. Check. Just watch a fitness video with a super thick woman deadlifting 292 pounds. Too great for her. Were you watching it for fitness purposes or did you just want to purr about it? Were you in your goon cave and watching this? Taking a variety of polygonal pugilish in 3D brawler and prizes and gold shasha points. Right hook, left hook, block attacks with, with on the left, block attacks from the right. R2 and L2 limit break. Take note of the opponent's special skills on the brawler selection screen. This will reveal what maneuvers they typically employ and how to defend against them. Sauce, saucer brawl. Uh, special skills. You can watch out for their killer left and right hooks. I'm already forgetting how to do this. Okay, you gotta watch their hands. Ready when 
in the button. Special skills, straight hook, straight hook. A wind up spells trouble, so be ready to dodge their straight punches. Hmm. So if he starts winding up, dodge. And if how to block. Press forward on the left and right stick. Or you also hook. Okay, this is confusing. So I now have to press the the sticks forward if I want to block. And if I need the dodge, okay. We'll see. He a big one. Look at the belly shake. Yeah, I'm screwing this up. Cloud sucks at video games, chat. So if he winds up, that means you gotta like, you have to block it, not dodge, right? I think I get it now. Yep, can't dodge that. Polygons have jiggle physics. All pol every single video game characters had jiggle physics. It was their polygons that had the jiggle physics, you realize. That was sloppy. That's what the jiggle physics was applied to. Starting to get the hang of it though. That Moogle is a hell of a boxer, though. Tifa and Cloud are on the date. Yeah, that's who showed up for me. Shit. Alright, I think I've got the hang of it now. Believe I've learned his moves, Chad. I've studied my enemy. Yeah. 
Except for like which the swing at when he's like open. Because whatever side is his, his hands are like don't really give it away as much. There we go. Come on, I'm hitting the stick upward. That was bullshit. I'm still screwing up which swing to take. I've lost again. Arm close to the ground is the side you swing. See, his, his arms are a little bit different, so they don't look. Yo, know, I was like hard to tell which one was which. All right, he's won this one. I don't think I'm coming back. Yep. <clears throat> All right. I should be able to do it next round, though. <clears throat> Make sure it doesn't bite your. Did you guys hear that Logan Paul's gonna be fighting Mike Tyson? That was sloppy. This is what it'll probably somewhat be like. Shit. Keep hitting it too slow. Gotta impress my girlfriend, Chad. <laughs> Probably Jake's last fight, Mike is going to kill that kid. You realize with this fight, since the exhibition thing they put together, they've likely already agreed on how it's gonna go. I don't I don't think it's gonna be like this one. Look, let, let's be honest, Logan would not have entered the fight if there wasn't some kind of agreement. I'm pretty sure that's how all of his big fights have been. Oh Dio. Oh. A deal. Hmm. All right. Dodges three hit combos that leave him vulnerable to a crippling counter strike. Hmm. So we have to go left and down for like. Hmm. For his. Okay. If his throws his left hook, we have to go down to block. And straight hook is. Oh. Okay. <coughs> oh wait, he's got an uppercut. Oh shit. Hmm. Straight is up to block. Hook is dodge. And he's got... Okay, th this one's gonna... Probably won't be doing this one tonight, but we'll try it. And that's not what you do. gonna take some warning. It's like fighting like the old Elden Lord in Elden Ring. As long as Vincent Tyson has been in a real match. I don't know, he's still incredibly good though. I've seen him like train. 
Alright, we're gonna move on to the next game. Get good scrub. <laughs> we're up late. King Queen's blood. Got your deck in order? If so, then it's time to throw down. Put your QB skills to the test with the Gold Saucer's Queen's Blood Challenges. Trounce the competition using a freebie card and support cards. Turn the whole game on its head with the gimmick Battle Villains, or attempt grueling survival challenges in which you rack up as many points as possible in a finite number of rounds. Support card luxury real estate. Uh, I'll go with the, the deck I have. Oralu Warrior. <laughs> Gotta love that fight. Um, actually, that's a really good. No, we don't need this. That's an even better start. I just not release the Gigantar. There are so many VTubers anymore, it's become a big thing. It's a way to get, you know, some attention to yourself a little bit quicker. Wow, what the hell did he just play? <laughs> this is a crystal hard resolve and overwhelming amount of power. Would you get into the ring of what wrestling? No. Oof. Not a good idea to do that one. What's Sea Devil do again? Oh shit. Didn't well I didn't think he'd have the perfect match for it. Okay, I'm gonna bone. A little bit boned here, chat. Yeah, there's there yeah, you win. Need to retry that one. Need to retry that one. Don't they know I am the king of cards winner of the Junon Yul region? They can't treat me this way. What if it's against Steven Seagal? Then yes. Cards again. It's okay, I've got this. Okay, he's played both the giant cactars, that's excellent. However, fuck you. <laughs> oh wait, that didn't do what I thought I was gonna do. I was gonna flip all three of those. 
I forgot how that card works. It's okay. Still put me in a decent place. Because now, he, I can do this. take that from him and win the top lane i'll lose the bottom lane or actually we'll tie the bottom lane all right best play is this one that means i that means i win oh no he still wins because i he won the bottom lane shit i came close <laughs> It was a close game. I made a few mistakes. Oh, that's alright, we gotta win at least one of these. Gotta get them points, man. I think the Chocobo place is the only place left out of this, right? I've seen we really want to get the cactars out first. I didn't get them. Actually, I did. I didn't get the cactars. play there, but uh, I'll take it. <laughs> but he has attack he has those cards they can like you know grab from diagonal to keep forgetting. It's a rough card to deal with. Hmm. Probably gonna take it though by putting one in the middle, but gotta try that. Yep. Fuck. Yeah, I don't think I'm beating this thing at cards right now. Have a great night, Garrus. Have a great night, man. Thanks for being here. Oh, yeah, this thing's kind of kicking my ass. <laughs> You've already won game. I'll try, um, I'll try one more game of it. Still understand the card game. It's all about claiming territory with your pawns and then get, racking up more points. You can only play cards on territory you control. Is how the is the main idea of it. And certain cards claim territory, and then you get to play cards on it. Then you like get it. It's it's kind of how it works. <sighs> The gold saucer queen's blood games are tough. I wonder where like, what are, I haven't, you know, I've only got the one cutscene that sets up some kind of weird plot line behind the card game. Haven't gotten one since then. Um, hmm. We set to hope they get a bad hand. Please don't get their cactuars. Good. Well, close enough to a cactuar, though. <laughs> hmm. Maybe she just plays super aggressive.
Really? Okay, I'm not beating this person. This person's cards was too freaking good. I can't do anything. I'm already locked out. I can't play cards again. That's the problem with this game. If you get like screwed over like that, you're done. Skill issue? No, they just have better cards than me. That dragon thing just screws me over. Basically RNG. Uh, I mean, there's only 15 cards per deck, so RNG is not that big of a deal. Because you get five of your cards at the start. Did you ever figure out if the piano was actually broken? I haven't been back to it since then, so I have no idea. That's a horrible opening hand. Mm. He always has the choke. The Mmm. Cactars make this really hard. Mmm. I gotta be careful, though. Moogle Trio is your best. Yeah, but getting it played without him taking control of the board is gonna be difficult. So, mm -hmm. however, I'm just going to grab that with those cards he has up there. So I can do this. I can lock him out of playing any more cards. I might be able to win now. <laughs> he can't play anything. So we got the lucky one we were hoping for. Never, you know, flex on him. What do you think I'm gonna do? Of course, I'm gonna flex on him. Humiliated me one too many times, chat. Now he must suffer. Like this game ends when I say it ends, fool. That's maximum points here. We can actually make one of his cards weaker. <laughs> Even less points for him. Now you can now stop suffering. run the board just turn back in have we reached the main game of final queen's blood rebirth this is the queen's blood game you can play inside gold saucer so that was only the first game of it mithril golem and we got 50 points okay it seems like you can earn a shit ton of points here by the way succulent snucker uh let's try one more since it's only like level three then we'll go to the chocobo arena One point away from your highest. 
Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by three while this card is in play. Interesting. Aggressive, are you? Getting super aggressive. Mistake when I do that. Dumb moves. That'd give me a nine and a seven. But he'll be able to play a lot more cards. However, there's only one other card I could potentially play, and it's on that spot. So I think I do I do need to take it. Best I'm gonna be able to do. So we've tied the middle row. Uh, I'm currently winning the top row. He'll definitely... Okay, he's definitely going to win, though. <laughs> Unless he... Well, no. It depends on how many points he can get with these last two spots. Oof. Never mind. He had... How many cacti... Wait. I thought you were only allowed to carry two of those kind of cards into your... Okay, never mind. I guess you can have more than one here. Start. I, I wanted to see what he'd play. Alright, we're gonna go to the Chocobo place now. If I can find it. Anything you think you say part three is going to refine the mini games from rebirth? Don't forget snowboarding and the submarine game. No, screw that the slapping mini game. Not only will you have the big yo character defining moment of Tifa and one lady slapping each other on top of Junon, I hope they introduce an entire slapping tournament that you can you'll get involved with so you don't have to do it just one time. But yes, yeah, snowboarding in it as well. You're seeing too much? Oh, I'm sorry, man. But, uh... I cannot find the Chocobo race. I don't want to go to the Skywell, since I heard that moves the plot along. I think that it will be also uh, gifted... Oh, Jesus, Tyler is animated. Just gifted 10 memberships to people in YouTube chat. Uh, thank you, Tyler. Any of you guys got yourself a membership? Give him a big thank you. Also, I uploaded new emotes yesterday to YouTube, so I think there's like 11 or 12 uh, emotes for you to use now. So give him a shot. Uh, 
over here. Hey, courage, have a good night, though. I'm not leaving till I ride Those cactar things are so annoying, yes. Because they're like... And you can usually only have two of any card in a deck. That guy had four of them. He drew all four of them. Oh, Materia. Someone dropped this here? They're all lost and found by this establishment. Orb of Steadfast Block Materia. No, this is not a very, like, disabled, accessible theme park, is it? It's all stairs. Check the map. Where does it say the Choco of places? It is right next to the battle square. Isn't Chocobo on the first floor? I've looked, but didn't find it there either, but I'll go check again. But this is Battle Square, so Chocobo is supposed to be right over there. Is it? There it is. Okay, that was like hidden. <laughs> Would restore materia fix your disabilities? Okay, come on now. That only like wakes you up from being unconscious. Actually, I think we might have unlocked another emote spot with that, you know, gift bomb. So I might have like another emote I can upload now. Gambling chat. It, it really gambling. Wow, you really can get sucked into this. I can see how people end up in debt. Yeah. Let's make sure we don't. Welcome This is my heritage. I don't I don't come from Texas, you realize. So wearing cowboy hats is not my heritage. <coughs> To Costa del Sol proved fruitful. And now I'm flushing all that gill down the toilet. I swear, every time one of Sam's chocobos takes first, probably doping his birds, the con artist. Doping the birds. Enough about me, though. What about you? Are you an asshole for thinking Surely Tifa is bland? I mean, everyone's got their bad. preferences. Like paying attention to your girlfriend. <laughs> Go have fun before she gets bored with you. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Squall, you keep your riz you know, in check. Save some of it for the rest of us. Here comes a band of marching <laughs> Whatever. Wait, what? This is like some of my people's chat's theme song. She was like, quick, quick, wow, work, work, work. Do it again. Not very accessible? Not exactly. Nope. Come on, do it. I heard you do it. I saw the text. Here comes a band of marching It's a qua and work is canon. There you go, Chad. You have your theme song. Sick and tired of seeing our bird come in last. Bought to put the four bastards out the pasture. Never felt the new one. Best do it soon, and the boss will freak. Got gold saucer points? Hmm. Art of sword play. We will buy that.
You know, we're, we're gonna start spending some of these points. <laughs> you know, I wish they tell you what the card did besides just showing you the art, so you know if you want it. Alright, let's gamble. Welcome to the Chocobo Racetrack. Do you New term, have a doping the bird. No. Like, what do you think's in those oh, Garshal greens? So sorry, but I'm afraid our services are for members only. Oh, that's too bad. Might have been fun. All of our guests are more than welcome to watch the races on the monitors, however. You'll find them just overhead. So, you can't have fun here? Worthless. Saving that for something later, chat. It's a little yo, yo. It's very important. No, I, I know how it goes. I played this game originally. Your gifted membership. How do you use the emotes? Uh, you know what? Good question. Let me check and see because I've never really used YouTube chat before. Uh, uh yeah. How do you use the emotes in YouTube chat? <laughs> I see the option for the super chat, and I got a question mark, and then a chat window. I can start a poll or a Q and A, but that's not the same thing. So someone tell, someone teach everyone else in YouTube chat how to use emotes there. Probably just clicking a button next to the window. All right, what do we got left? We have paint the town red. Skyward Square and okay, let's go there. I guess. Hit the smiley icon on the line. There you go. Oh wait, this should be like the theater thing, right? Maybe not. Are we in copyright hell? Loveless, huh? You think that guy, that villain from like Zack's game ever came here to see this? It's like my favorite. I love this place. Cactuar King, the Clash with Gonna like go from there. It's not very interesting to watch that. You should like two tickets, please. Oh, 
tickets will be available for purchase one hour before the show. Please line up here to wait. Oh, you can't Good get your day, tickets right now. And well met, most esteemed. Almost done. We can like go to like you'll the you know the Ferris will know. The food in the VIP seats was to die for. Well, look who it is. We meet again. I must say your duel with Dio earlier was a sight to behold. <laughs> Gave me goosebumps. The stage. Does he do that chant? Do you like Ferris wheels? They're all right. I've only been on like one or two. The park director requires my talents for a show. My fancy footwork, to be precise. What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? No. Not even the limelight can melt that icy heart. This man is trying so hard to make Cloud human again. Through the power of dance. I repeat, advance tickets for tonight's performance. Roach would probably be into theater. I wonder if he's going to show up. I think he's probably done for this game. Roach only seems to get like one or two big scenes for her game. And we already had our fight with him. 
All right, so yeah, only thing to do now is head to the fair as well. Square is yours to enjoy. Where you go, to All right, we'll quickly go to a couple of shops and buy stuff real quick because we got the points. Roach is a theater kid, almost definitely. Is that a link? Mike is able to post them because he has like VIP status. I was like, he gave it to him testing it out. I think there's only like a few people that have it. Right, stuffed bomb, yeah, I'll buy that. Way of the fist, yes, please. I've already got level up materials, though. Don't need it. You had it, but I wanted a, a peasant instead. Uh, Everyone you meet in this game is a freaking theater kid. I mean, that is a true statement, honestly. Do I miss the fast travel device? Probably so. Oh no. Video games and fast travel, I mean, video games and theater overlapping a lot these days. I mean, yeah, literally, and even in Alan Wake. A uh, typical dart giving more power to his most devoted followers. I literally was just testing it out when, like, uh, Twitch made it a thing to see what it did. And Mike has been a long time viewer, so I was like, fuck it, why not? Fantasy World, uh, Event Square, Wonderment Square, Ghost Square. Yeah, we're gonna buy something at the Ghost Square. Music festival. Yeah, we're gonna go there soon. I just want to like spend some of my points. You need that power so you can spam chat with history facts, huh? I'll probably have to like put together like a battle royale arena where you guys will have to fight to the death before I start handing out VIPs. <laughs> They're having so much fun to work here. What weapons are allowed? Glass bottles, so it's gonna be like Scottish bar type fights. WWE 24 VI. I could put together like. I have for a while thought of putting together like using a wrestling game to have like an AI controlled battle, battle uh, like, be like Royale. Right, create characters based off memes and stuff we've done in your know, streams before. Let's never have gotten around to it. Uh, I didn't think I bought anything in the speed oh, store. And here we are. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Care to exchange your points before takeoff? This guy has two figurines, huh? All right. And Sharpshooter's Companion. Another streamer I know does that along with cool, funny, custom characters we find. Uh, yeah, for me, it would likely be like things related to memes and jokes we do in my streams, as well as like important characters from games and stuff. There's quite a few streamers who do it, I think, these days. Uh, let's see. I think I didn't buy anything in the battle square, did I? Maybe I did. I don't know. I forgot if I checked this or not. Didn't you want to do a mod royal a mod royal rumble with us? A mod? Well, like I said, I'd probably include that in just like a general royal rumble thing. I think I did buy stuff. Yeah, I did buy stuff here. Oh, 
Mm. I think I've actually visited all the stores. All right, we're gonna do Skywolf score now. We've done enough. I'm not gonna talk to her. I already talked to him. I already yes, talked to her. My entire party, except for Barrett, who's a little bit missing right now. Not even at the thing yet, they just broke into dance. Is it raining where y'all are? Well, we're all over the world, so chances are it's raining somewhere for someone watching. Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? Aggressive. What's going on? I... I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over Sorry, here, Chad, no fair as well, apparently. Cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Is that a cat? What is it? Get to the Versus the other cat, you know, that talks. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, alright? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. This has to be a mistake. Let's go find out. All squares are closed. Sorry, Please Chad. Area. Please, can I still visit the gift shop? No, they probably had a thing I could buy. We strongly I don't know, use this. She people really want to hate. She summoned her courage, Chad. To the battle square. Day. 
start a fresh recording because I've been on this one for quite a while now. No date. Well, it was the entire thing was a date. I'm sorry, sir. We just didn't get the big end ending of it. Are allowed past here. No. Uh, excuse me. They just made Kate Sith into an actual hacker, haven't they? Copy that, sir. Interesting idea. Apologies for the delay. <laughs> Please. Couldn't be bothered to specify the skin color. He was wearing like a head-to-toe cloak, so they probably don't know. The only one thing it's kind of weird seeing Kate Sith act like an actual cat. Uh, I guess it's probably easier to just animate him that way. I mean, normally he does right on top of the Moogle. I need you to step back, please. This is a crime scene. Get me a sit rep on the other squares. I'm here to investigate. Get me a sit rep on the other squares. Gray Fox, not enough blood. Not nearly Shit. enough blood. It's like I told you, someone went on a rampage, and now I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this our gilded paradise. We meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? Hmm. Dio Dilda. A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... Not quite as ripped as me. A gun for an arm. Is that a JoJo reference? It very Tell well me, might be. Does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Yeah, maybe you guys should start disguising yourselves. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. You're not a very good lawyer, are you, Cloud? The world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. If our friend had did it, he would have made sure he's recorded doing it. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have that you power? You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. I mean, we could just kill you. <laughs> and be done with and leave. Where did you put my hand? <laughs> oh. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. 
We won't need to. Good. He's all natural. This, this is what a diet of like spinach and chicken just gets you. God, that's a massive bulge. Competition's good for the soul. Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth. If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. What exactly does the go. wrist thing do? I'm guessing it's like a tracker. You like. <coughs> if my guy was your guy, he'd want it to. I mean, if you put that much steroids into you and you spend that much time working out, yeah, maybe you would flex a lot. Find me who did this. I'll make sure they rule. I just now realized, but his character design looks like paradise. a ripped Rachel Ghoul from Batman. <laughs> Doesn't it? Don't, don't, don't you see it, Chad? He looks like a steroidal Rachel Ghoul. He's been pumping a little bit too much of the Lazarus into him. Reminds you of Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball Z. Mm, he wears like a, a gi though, right? This is slightly different from the original game where they get thrown down here by Dio. He's like, he just decides, yeah, you're all guilty. Throws him down a hole and like into Cornell prison. Very Mad Max-ish, which is kind of what I was hoping for, actually. My chat is like nothing but Dio jokes right now. You got lost in the desert in this area, getting eaten by sandworms. You're just running off. Something's about to happen to them. They wouldn't run off like that ahead of us if they weren't going to be, like, grabbed. I saw someone up there. Someone over there, too. Not very ninja like to stand right in the spotlight, you know. <laughs> Shit. It's 
that easy to take Cloud out. After everything we've been through, that's all it takes. Rise and shine. This man fought Sephiroth on top of a, like a top junk tornado chat. Well now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> all right, follow me. Uh, uh. <laughs> Off we go. You just wait right there. Hey, boss! Your guests are here! <laughs> Hello, Gus. Allow me to welcome you to my He's got a theme song. Cloud. Cloud, right? The Merc for Hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of Roger Craig Smith, I, I think you're right. have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C. Yeah. Let me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? John oh, Scott. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. Chad, do you think people become, like, criminals like this if they get kicked out of theater school? So, yeah, Gil, it's very theatric for why you is a yo, relax, criminal gang lord. You don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Right, help us out. Oh, oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of it. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds out of the We should remind this guy the last creep that tried to, like, try that got hit with a chair. Frick. Ah, that's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Ooh, uh, yeah. Later. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Merc. Let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Chad, do you realize that you know, being a jockey was the traditional job for Twinks? That's why Cloud got chosen for this. He realized that like this Twink would be like the perfect like jockey. He's small enough. Frame is light enough. Bird can run faster. Hey, Creepazoid! What are you planning on doing with us? Suppose I can always mint a beetle right here. No need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. You would think Cloud would change outfits considering everyone instantly realizes these. They don't really seem to care about all this. There's like, eh, we'll go on vacation in the very highly you know, well-known place where our flyers are up. Now let's go learn how to ride a bird. an umbral blade. Bit of a while since we got a new weapon. Uh, okay. 
Very, uh, very edgy looking. Strength and Punisher mode. Hold down attack to deliver three consecutive strikes. Increase Berserk potency. Proficiency bonus. Finish off an enemy while active. This one I got on you. Luck up materia. Vision defense. Revival. Healing. Uh... I did get like a pretty good HP up, didn't I? So I guess we'll put that on him. Bloodsucker restores 5% of HP upon defeating enemies in battle. There's MP cost of healing spells by 10%. That's really good. And we can add another 200 HP. We have now made Claude kind of tanky. Prime mode is fun. Hey, you know we still got your friends, right? Looking Stay around at the sights. This here shop's got Gus's seal of approval. Hmm. Maybe a criminal That's gang job, but he's still gonna make money. Yo! Brought your new champ! Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimp. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fire. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Good morning. I am having a hard time catching up with all your FFF streams. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't stream for the past two days, so that's a pretty good opportunity. But, uh, I mean, they'll always be there. You don't have to, like, watch them all at once to get caught up. You can watch a little bit at a time. Put it on when you, you know, got something else you're working on. I'm coming too. If you don't like a podcast. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. How did you stick the wicker basket to your back like that? How come y'all can eat veggies? It ain't fair. No one will notice if I sneak Go get food. Esther was in the original, right? I remember someone being there for your races. Uh I know Gus was. I don't remember much else about the Chocobo races you had to do other than him. I do remember the guy in the green suit. I also recall there being like a well that you could have climbed down here. And there was like an item at the bottom of it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> the box game. Mr. Gus presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a 
limited time only. If you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try. De-stress like the derelicts of the Dust Bowl by whacking some boxes. Sure as many boxes as possible in your time limit, each box broken will add to your score. In order to break gear boxes blocking your path, you must first destroy enough shock blocks boxes to power them. Devise a plan of attack. This is how we get silk screens, huh? Oh, you get oh wait, you get what Tiva's weapons here. That is that is bad to know. Because <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's gonna be really hard to get. I don't, I don't see anything else to break. Oh, they're over here. Yeah, we've definitely screwed this one up pretty hard. No! Stop making it go down! <laughs> Don't question basket graph. Good way of putting it. I just can make a couple more attempts of that. Couple more. We're going to get Tifa's weapon from this. Great job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. Let's do one more round of it right now. Because I want to do the racing too. Really can't jump off things. 
Well, don't you know you need to save the world? I must hit boxes. Shut up. But separate boxes. Can't hit that one. Thank you, boxes that are into there that I can't hit. Okay, this was the area I think you wanted to come to last, I feel. You can't really get these boxes out for these lightning boxes. Mm, close. Okay, I can get these up here now. Oh, come on, that's close to 30,000. Shit. Okay, I think I might see a, a strategy. This is how Squeenix would make Crash Bandicoot. Almost at the second place. Meanwhile, like the kids, like, Squire, can we just feed my chocobos? No. But it's it's dying, Cloud. He doesn't understand like what Cloud must do. Wait, did I not hit the electric box? Oh shit, the electric box is over here. For God. Brought by Fable 2. Are they still working on a new Fable game that is like didn't look very good in the last trailer? I forgot about that series. Then again, I forgot about most of Square Enix's stuff. I mean, like Microsoft stuff. What a waste that series ended up being. Sorry. 
No! You fucking thing! No! Let me go! Oh, that, that fucked me. That fucked me so hard. This ends here. Okay, I get. This is when you're going for the forty thousand, ain't it? I can't even get down. All right, I'll make some more attempts at this later. Heard this game has some mini games. This game is like probably got more mini games than anything else. I actually, hit reach. Shit. Muscle memory chat. I hit retry. I swear to God, that was not intentional. These boxes are all Sephiroths. That's how you do it. So long. here before you go that way. Thirty thousand. We got round two. Uh, forty thousand. Damn, but that's gonna be one of Tiva's weapons. I doubt. I guess it's gonna be hard, man. Yes. Yeah. 
couple thousand more off. You have to do way better than that. Well, we got two of them though. Was a good try. Solid effort. Now we can do chocobo races though. <laughs> See if you can do even better next time. Yeah, it's 42. Oh, actually, I was a little 7,000 off. But that's a shitty price. This is a 3,000 bucks. If you want a challenge. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands. But Tiva Claus, we'll have more opportunities to do it, you realize. But hey, I ain't picky. Eat up, bird. All right, let's see what you found. However, I do believe this will probably be about the end of all the mini games in it. I can't think of any other areas in the game that will appear in this game. That is, that'd be full of mini games. who's been hanging out down here. I heard he's got some produce. Good luck out there, cutie pie. The QB How did the sword turn purple? This is a brand new sword. It just is purple, cause magic. It looks really tacky. It doesn't look. I like the other swords better. This one just looks. Yeah, not great. Looks like a children's toy, honestly. Or this actually looks like the kind of weapon you'd get as a drop in an MMO. And all we can all agree, most weapon designs in MMO look like garbage, because they have to design so many of them. Maybe you don't agree with me, but I think I'm right. I kind of do wish they'd off, they'd give you the ability to transmute transmute your weapon so you could keep the look of say like the Buster Sword for the entire game, but change what it, you know the actual stats and abilities are behind it. That'd be nice. It's made from HP plus material. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, that is not a gun, that is a super soaker, sir. Holy shit. If you're going to have a guy stand there with a megaphone, he needs to have some vocals. I turned the mission in though. Okay, I guess it's just on the board. I don't know why I bother. This stuff's more water than booze. Drink, Claude. Drink the piss water. You seem like a guy who can hold his liquor. That's our house specialty. Call it sunshine. We take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible. So it is piss water then. Don't know why I bother. This stuff's more water than booze. Welcome to Bail Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. 
If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to it in ages. Here. Wait, do you not get anything out of this? Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. <laughs> Go ahead and take everything in my garden, Cloud. You mean drugs? I was about to say the same thing. Normally, when he's talking about greens at a place like this, he means a completely different type of greens. For that, but I'm sure there's more greens to be had here. Like you, you probably look. He looks promising. You got it. Just straight ahead. Oh come on! I don't bite. Well, I'm trying to talk to you, but you don't have like an interacting button. <laughs> Sorry, but you're stuck with me now. Interesting over there. What you going that way for, man? It's about time. <laughs> uh huh. Keep going. <laughs> Allow us to show you how things work around here. It's following me, huh? <laughs> you lost or something? Oh, am I holding you up? Uh huh. Keep going. Bullying chat. <laughs> Not far now. Uh huh. Keep going. You got it. Just straight ahead. Uh huh. And here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. Yeah, we need to return to the 80s idea of criminals. They're so much more classy. Prime mode activated. You had your chance. Let's finish. Anything left of you after that? Jesus. Weapon ability mastered in one go? Damn. You know, you could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. I like the deal. The all these gang members, they just carry Remember produce that. on them. Just well, in case. Up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you. But we won't do it again. Promise! Still need a lot more greens, though. People around the prison have been telling me they give their birds sand baths to get them clean. Wonder if it's any better for them. Oh yeah, birds love a good sand bath. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. I must play cards, Chad. <laughs> Sorry, but I must do it for the sake of the bird. Okay, these are good players, though. They got a goldman over here. It's a sight to behold. We'll save him for last. What's up? 
Do you think Batman really needs Robin? I have always held that Robin is not needed for Batman at all. I never did get to play that guy in Corel that was levitating at cards because I'm not good enough yet. Batman needs to be a dad. He is a dad. He's got a kid. It's a raider from Fallout. I think these guys are more a little bit Mad Max, maybe. Uh, hmm. Not a bad opening hand. Yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, he's got the cactar. Well, it's not the it's not the giant cactar. Never mind. Not that bad. Hmm. He's got that. Thing. However, see any famous people when you were on vacation uh did i see any famous people i don't believe that i did i wasn't really looking for them though i believe i did drive past the diner where pulp fiction was filmed at the opening scene i guess that counts hmm So, if I play a card here, it'll reclaim that, but he'll likely play his card up there to reclaim this, but then I can play a card here to reclaim it again. So, with that in mind, let's not play that. Actually, wait. No, no, that'd be a bad idea to do that. Because I could play this, but then he would just take one of them by playing this card in the center. Best play I can make. Um, yeah. At the very least, this sure is up. I win the bottom row by a good amount, and the top row is tied, so he can only win the middle row. So we'll see how much he can win that by now. Could have hooked up with Scarlett Johansson or Natalie Portman. <clears throat> I could have, couldn't I? <clears throat> I just missed out on that opportunity. I didn't realize. All right, we win. Easy game. Slipped around my fingers. I mean, I, I missed so many opportunities to sleep with famous women, I know. Happens probably every other Sunday, honestly. <laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined! 
shut up and give me greens. I've been missing out. Prison is a great place to let your car down, you know? So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the judgy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you have these, to Sometimes to these card players have very long is. conversations after now. you beat them, Chet. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. Do you get anything winning these games apart from more cards? Sometimes they... Well, Chadley calls you. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player oh, the levitating the guy. Novelon in North Corral. Uh, there is a plot line that goes with these card games about some kind of dark mystery, flow. so you can solve that. And sometimes it's required for you to play it. Yeah, we can now take on the levitating guy. But we now have Goldman over here to fight, who's a higher rank. Want to know my secret to victory? It sounds like glug, glug, glug. Hmm? Oh, where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh. Lady, you are Big dead if you drink cooler. that much. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no, don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. What has roots and nobody sees that taller than trees up up it goes and get no get get out of my chat, Riddler. <laughs> no one wants your shit in outside of Arkham games. No Riddlers around. <laughs> uh, let's see. Why am I still running the Riot Trooper? It kind of honestly sucks. Hey, comrade, spending too much in my Roman counterparts form, so need to stop by in my Greek. Well, I think every hundred bits, man. Uh, much appreciated. Yeah, what did he play? A wolf. This one raised the power of all cards affected by two tons. Okay. I don't want to play that one just yet. However, I do need to do something to take... Mm. Mm. I gotta, like, contest the top row. Can't let him have that. However, it's gonna let him, like, grab that middle spot from me. No choice, got to do it. How to do it. However, this means now I can do this. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can do that kind of move. I think of maybe wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second.
Okay, this guy's cards are really tough. Like, very much so. Uh... I can't... Wait, is that... I guess that's one of his. Uh, I think I've lost. I don't see anybody coming back from this. Do you prefer Roman or Greek culture? Uh... In terms of culture, I don't know. They're, they're kind of like... Roman culture is kind of built off Greek culture, so... I'd probably just go with the OG. Why do some cards raise the power of enemies? Uh, they don't necessarily. They just raise, like, spots on the board. So if you put a card there, it raises it. Uh, but enemies have cards they can raise the power to. Let's try that again. Got a bad opening hand there. <clears throat> I need to redo my deck. of this time. sure I want to make that move. Uh, fuck it. We'll throw caution to the wind here. Might force him to play a bad oh, one of these two. Eh, ain't too bad. Sorry, chat. We're on card brain, card mode brain run. Fuck. Right now. <laughs> Can't allow him to have that row. Said I can now kill that card. I think we've got him. He's on the run. He's boxed straight in chat. Uh, in fact, I can do more damage.
And we win. Every roll. Destroyed. Cope. Seethe. Mauled. Come. Piss. Everything. We left this woman with nothing. that shoddy is like a melody in my mind. Hmm. When enemies' cards are destroyed, raise the power of this card by one. Okay, now we just have the well, Goldman to fight. Shit. You got the good hot stuff. Should have had more to drink. I have a confession to make. You see, my dear, even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauced to the max. So Lady, I'm just here for, you. like, chocobo greens. <laughs> Do you have them? I'm in the middle of a performance. Are you here to play Queen's Blood? That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not. Wow, well, how weird is it? I thought the guy that was levitating was doing the living statue bit, only for there to actually be a living statue bit from one of these uh, Queen's Blood players in the game. Arms, at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life. Uh, defeat. Um, promotion requirements. Defeat players, defeat keeper of the clue, or whatever that means. This could be one of those matches that, when you win, gives you, like, a cutscene advancing the card game plot. Uh, let's drop that. And that. We'll keep that. got high point cards that's a problem uh, hmm. kind of need to play this but it's gonna allow him to take the middle but I can fight over regardless sets me up in a stronger board position which games have the better minigame, FF7 or Yakuza? Uh, honestly, I've been enjoying the, the minigames in FF7 more than the ones in Yakuza. He's playing the bottom. Yes, he played in the bottom row. Thank God. Shit. I wanted to make sure he took that back. I didn't think he'd have something like that. Hmm. now he's gonna take that spot yeah i've lost his run i'm gonna have to play again he got me yeah you take your victory <laughs>
I can get him though. I just need a good. I just need a new lucky run. That's not good logic, is it? I can win. I just need luck. Um. Put all those away. Uh, that's a bad opening hand. Jesus. Real bad. Uh, I guess point wise, it's, it could be worse. Chat, squint and pray. Ooh, he's got combos. <laughs> like the better move. Room, I'm most likely to win. When played at both Moogle Mage and Moogle Mage, might want to be so good right now. <coughs> hmm. We'll play it safe until I know what he wants to do. Make sure I win the top row. Only way to do that was with this. Uh, it still leaves him one card he can play the top row, but I don't know. Only needs to be given three points to win the top row. Hmm. However, if I were to play like this, <clears throat> I could then play something else and possibly win the top row. Or at least tie it. But I gotta remember, he's got that one card that gets stronger as it, like, kills other things. This is what card games do to a motherfucker, chat. <laughs> uh, actually, this would be a smart move, too, but it's... I don't know, I've already got 10 points on the bottom row. It's pretty good. It allows me, like, maybe also win the top row. I think I'd rather lock in the top row. Good. 
Hmm, wait. That'll, that'll give it that card three extra points if I kill that. Do be careful. Uh, that put that at nine. And I have 11, so I'd still win. Probably safer to... Mm. It would allow me to play another... Yeah, I can play another card on top, so it'd still, like, make sure I win it. Should be alright. Tomorrow we're heading to the races, boys and girls? Yep. Alright, final card. So, I win the bottom row, we tie in the middle, and I win the top. So, I win. <coughs> hmm. Pay me. You know what? This has actually now become probably the best card game in Final Fantasy. Didn't think I'd end up saying that, but it kind of has. There's way more work put into it. You completely demolished. Well played, good sir. But my performance wasn't half bad. Do you have any like Yarshal greens? Someday, I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why. I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting Use the cop of wire, you could have gotten all three runs. I'm fine. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention. So maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. Okay, that isn't where I got more greens from. Where would one get more greens? Jack would love this store, wouldn't he? You bit all three so you can get the greens from the old man at the card shop? I don't think I've been to the card shop yet. Elixirs be expensive. <laughs> Gus. Welcome to my humble establishment. Please peruse the selection. I need way more points. My store will always be open to you. Sorry, you must be a se seven blood captain to challenge him. Didn't I beat this guy's ass at the, your, at the in the freaking? Never mind. He's leveled up since then. Got an upgrade. Morgan Freeman. Word. I know your story. I also happen to know that you've racked up a few QB wins at the casino. As its owner, allow me to express my gratitude. Some players have no restraint. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Have, have a have a turnip. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. You won't want to miss out. I, I own all the... People lose interest when they start thinking they can't win. That's why Looks it's nothing like Morgan Freeman. Oh, come on. The stature, the old guy face, don't the clothes. Don't about this to the folks upstairs. Unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. 
No. No, I, I refuse to believe that's Chadley. Hey, Carl. It's me, Chadley. Oh. This is a considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a calming effect. I'm protecting my virginity, so Chad. <laughs> Cloud, who knows what these ruffians might do to me if they saw my smooth, supple skin and boyish demeanor. everything in my power to help prove it. I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that World Intel collection is all the vote. I'm certain, however... Thinking of making a run for it, are you? ...never abandon a task. I know you must... Be He's still talking, by the way. Oh, thank you for the 200 bits, by the way. I just saw the well over there. But before we go down it. Uh, what time zone do I live in? I live in U.S. Eastern Time. So right now it is 11.58 p.m. for me. Gone are the days of getting duped. Remove the wool over your eyes. And instead... Join me in the fleecing. The fleecing? Join me in the you, fleecing. You, sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely Are we rewarded. streaming tomorrow? Yes. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. This sounds like this is how you swindle people, actually. Conniving Caliglio is holding a seminar and stealing five aspiring swindlers with the tricks of his deceitful trade. Your mission, discern which of them as disciples is telling the truth. Each guest will cost 500 gil, no refunds, so choose wisely. Investigate his pupils' potential lies by visiting notable locations around the Dust Bowl. Review your notes at any time with, uh, all you know, that. We'll maybe do that tomorrow. You want to remind me to, you know, try that one out. Oh, I've been over there. Go down the, the you know, the well. You gonna save scum that? I might not have to. This place ain't for you, the you never know. You look crazy. It was nothing. It was the rib. I made it back in one piece. Welcome to society's trash. Got a lot for blood? Then you've come to the right place. All our most corrupted beings are camping in the pit. In the ring, in man versus monster. No Seminar in a prison. Hey, you gotta learn skills while you're there. I think I'll have enough greens to do this, right? Uh, exquisite beast hide. Complete. And then we gotta do this to get the, siskel, the last bit of siskel to greens. Alright. Time to do it. You like this sword? You like these more, like, anime-looking swords? I prefer them just being made of solid metal. With some maybe engraving on it. Funky music for a combat arena. Is that it? All 
All right, next one. He did the pose shot. He did, didn't he? Sounds familiar somewhat. Why did I not scan you yet? No, it's with the lights. Time to celebrate. All right, next one is our greens. The last bit of greens, I believe. <laughs> and then we can heal up our bird. Since I'm assuming the, the other one with the, the scam artist, we don't need to do. Oh, that is one beefy dog. Oh, he's a... He likes the counter, do he? Okay, I'm just gonna wait till my bar fills up so I can scan it to see what it does. Oh, he does wave you attack. Test subject that managed to escape from Shinra's R&D division due to a developer's oversight. It has since acquired the faculty of speech, however stilted by mindlessly parroting all that it hears. When its HP is low, it will play dead. While in this state, attacking it along with blocking or evading its subsequent counter-strikes will pressure it. Weak to fire. It actually says stuff, but I can barely hear it. It was weak to ice, didn't it? Nope. Oh, he's healing himself. We have fire. Let's go! 
All oh, this thing's annoying to fight. Any enemy that just constantly knocks you over in this game gets really annoying to fight. Boys is squeaky. They said it was like a parrot almost. Almost got him pressured and almost have a limit break. Ugh. that for some vegetables okay look at you go be sure to check out some of our other contests too if you're in the market for a little danger don't forget to set your clocks forward mine all do that automatically i haven't had to actually manually do that for a long time so i don't have any manual clocks Are you winning, son? Yeah, we're about to, like, heal our bird. What a dream. Like a tree frog. You got my bounty on you? You do. You think the gear Esther's got is any good? Ideally, it'd give people an edge and your chance to throw in the Our boy's one handsome bird, you know. We want equipment that'll accentuate his features. Who has manual clocks? Some, like a lot of wall clocks, so they're like not digital. Can be that way. Yeah, that was the wrong way. Pay you back. You want something? You take it. That's just. It's still impressive, man. For real. You hate the time change? Yeah, it's kind of unnecessary. But they don't seem like they want to get rid of it because there are some people who will like get really upset if you do. Like, how dare you? How dare you, good sir? Have you know I will die. Take this away from me. Almost got rid of it. There actually was a time we did get rid of it, but then the people started complaining and they brought it back. Here you go, bird. Pico's been feeling peckish. I think I got more, one more than I needed, actually. Only needed yeah, three, I got four. So make him super healthy. Old Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go. If you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Ooh, I do have one. It's actually been a while since I saved. I am a braver man than I thought. Uh, we'll sit here. Chat, it is late. I've gone over by about 11 minutes. We're going to call it. That's a full ass stream if I ever saw one. And I'll be streaming another full ass stream tomorrow for those of you who want to stop by and check it out. I'd love to have you again. If you're new here, thank you for watching me tonight. Also, you can hit the subscribe button or the follow button on either website. Uh, also, thank you for any subs, gift subs, memberships, gift memberships. Some of those are thrown around tonight. Bits, 
super chats. I've doubled the amount of thank yous at the end of my streams, haven't I? But I, it's fine. I love doing it. But thank you for all that. Thank you, the mod team. And chat, you've all been wonderful tonight. So thank you for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow for more FF7. Uh, here, yeah, here's your chance. Like, for any of those trying to catch up on the streams, you got a full day ahead of you. Full day and a full night, technically. But anyways, I'll see you all tomorrow, chat. I'm going to get something to drink and then try to get sleepy. See you later. Peace.